do I do? What do I do? Oh, man. Does it look darker? Oh, I see. Ah, uh, yeah, I see it too. I see it too. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know. Listen, here's the reason why we are. Uh, that's, that's fine. Here's the reason why we're a little bit late tonight. As you know, and of anyway, course, insane. of course, <clears throat> either right before we go on the air, or right before we go, or right after we go off the air. Look how white we are. There is. It's winter time. Look at us right here. It's winter time. Look at us right here. It's winter look time. Look at my arm, and then look at the camera. Do you expect to go out there? Look and at your arm in the middle of winter time. I'm not saying we're not tan. Look at your arm, and then look at your arm on the camera. You see the difference? It does look white. It's on insanely camera. hell. It, it does look white around. Man, camera. I don't like that. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, whether it be right before we come on the air or right when we go off the air, there is always something on a Tuesday night. Not right before we go. I'm going to correct you right there, and I'm sorry to interrupt you twice already. We're not even a minute into the show. But normally, when we go off the air. Yeah, exactly. I'm happy it happened before we went on the air. <laughs> normally, we do a whole show. Talking about Lesnar and this and that, and then we go off the air and bam, that happens. And it's like, motherfucker, we gotta wait seven days to talk about that. At least we can come on and talk about it tonight. Exactly. That's a good thing. So, they don't know um, what we're talking about yet if they haven't read it. I'm sure they all have. At about 6 o'clock Eastern Time tonight, Sports Center. 6.45. Well, Sports Center came on air at 6 o'clock yeah. on their evening news broadcast and said that. Yeah, they run the same show all morning and then they come back. <coughs> in about a half hour. 45 minutes from now, we're going to have Brock Lesnar live in studio, and he is going to make a major so they announcement. Said? Yes. My memory has it different. I seem to recall coming in 10 minutes before it happened and saying, you'll turn sports. I didn't around. know. I wasn't okay. watching. No, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't right. watching, man. Uh, but Shout when out they, to Mike Shalik. He's the one who got us ready. Yeah, when they, when, yeah. when they opened up the, uh, the broadcast tonight, they had hyped that Brock Lesnar was going to be in studio, and he was going to make a major announcement. That he did. I wasn't watching Sports Center. I was watching the local news here. You came in here and told me that, hey, at 6.45 Eastern Time, Brock Lesnar is going to make a major announcement. Shout out to Mike Shalik. Like Mike Shalik just said, um, and I turned on Sports Center. Sure enough, um, right before they went to their last break before Lesnar, they had shown a live shot of Brock Lesnar and Michelle Beadle, um, who is the host of ESPN's uh, Sports Nation. Yes. Who Hulk Hogan was on yesterday. Yes. Roman Reigns was on today. He was on the uh, one time famously where he like trashed LeBron James stand up picture cut out thing. Hogan, Hogan, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right. that wasn't uh, Reigns when he did it. I thought it was Hogan. No, it was Reigns because then he did the believe that and all this. And that. It was a while ago. Yesterday was Hogan. Right, right. Did he do the same thing? I didn't watch the clip. No, I thought the Hogan Lebron thing. I thought it was Hogan and Lebron. I'm on talking ESPN. months ago. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was Reigns. All right, well, yeah. it was Reigns. But anyways. Um, <coughs> So uh, they shot right before they shot to a commercial break. They showed Michelle Beadle and Brock Lesnar, you know, in studio or you know, kind of in a meeting room. Yeah. They were actually in Los Angeles, and um, the sports. Uh, She's there Lindsay, to cover the uh, the show, probably. Right, right, probably. She's and she was a, fan, she was a raw last night too. By the way, big we uh, we put some photos up. So there so. were two big r reporters there: Bill Simmons and Michelle Beach. Yeah, 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 and a big rapper too, Snoop Dogg. Snoop. He well, he's there. actually very small. If you look he at was, his, he was so <laughs> tiny on Raw. It reminds me that anybody who's seen the movie Baby Boy will know exactly what I'm talking about. When he goes to rape the chick, he takes his shirt off. He's got a white <laughs> beater so on. He's so tiny, man. His arms are like <laughs> that fucking big. You can see it on Raw last night yeah, when he ripped off the Hogan <laughs> shirt, dude, and, and you're like, Jesus. He's like a but, male anorexic. Uh, so they come back from the commercial break, and Michelle Beadle. To her credit, got right to the point. Real quick, I mean, you the saw Beatle, the beginning. Of yeah, that. right. But real quick before the Beatle thing, the person who introduced Beatle and Lesnar really did a good job of hyping. It really was like because when we, we were speculating before, when when Shalik told Lindsay, me, um, I don't know Lindsay. Uh, yeah, what's her last name? I couldn't I, tell I you. Can't remember. It's I remember right back in the day. Stuart Scott and all those guys. Blonde yeah. chick, blonde chick, Lindsay. Couldn't tell you, but she did a great job of building it up. Think about it while I'm talking. Yeah. She yeah. did a great job building up, because when Shalik told us, we both speculated, and I speculated with Shalik talking online, my buddy, we always talk, Right, you're my best buddy, we always talk, so we're speculating, sometimes, trying to figure out, what, sometimes we speculate, or sometimes you're my best buddy, keep talking, sometimes we speculate, and uh, we were speculating <laughs> about what the announcement would be, because Shalik not only said he's going to be on Sports Center at 645, but he's got a quote-unquote major announcement tonight, right, right, 
And we are all, all three of us, were in agreement that it's not UFC because A, WWE booked the interview. So if it was a WWE booking, they would not be hyping it that's, for WWE that's, as... That's the main thing right there, yeah. that it was a WWE booking. So right off the bat... So we yeah. were thinking at first our idea was like, well, it can't be anything about him signing this or that because why would, you know... Long story short, we came to the conclusion that exactly what happened right. was that WB booked it. If it really is a major announcement, that's got to be what it is. I can't see any... What is he going to say? I'm Major announcement. I'm main eventing WrestleMania this week. Everybody knows that. Right. What else could he even say WB related? So it has to be something and about that. And you knew that. going into Raw last night that Brock was scheduled. They were going to try to work things out last night. Yeah, we night reported that last Raw. week that Monday was their quote-unquote deadline. Right. Obviously, if Lesnar said, I'm not signing shit, I haven't decided anything, their deadline would have been pushed back. Cause right. They're going to cater to Lesnar. Right. But in their minds, they were like, we are going to get this big white motherfucker to sign a piece of paper, come hell or high water, on Monday night, Los Angeles, California. Right. And they did. They did. Uh, basically, what happened is uh, Michelle Beadle got right to the point on uh, on ESPN Sports Center just a couple of minutes ago, or about an hour ago from now. She's slipping uh, a little bit, by the way. She don't look that good anymore. No, nah, she's getting older, man. Yeah. But um, so she amazing. got she got right to the point and said, "Brock, you are here to make a major announcement." And to Brock's credit, she even brought up the contract to, before, before she let him say a word. She said, "There's a lot of rumors I going was, around. Your contract's coming up." I was impressed with Brock, where Brock played it up for a good. He let him, yeah, 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 yeah. Where, you know, I mean, she wanted to get right to the point, and Brock kind of played it up. Well, he's like, well, it was a really hard decision, yeah. and I talked with Dana I'm sure White, and I talked with Vince. Before he went there, <laughs> I'm sure him and Anytime he's sitting in a chair staring at a camera doing an interview, even if it's for a storyline in WWE, he's right. always... Ah, hold yeah. on. He's oh, yeah. awesome oh, yeah. in that situation. Even wrong. Live microphone. Yeah, yeah. He's got his hits and misses, but when he is sitting in a chair doing an interview straight to camera, right. he's amazing. <laughs> Affit in the chat room. I've always followed Ryan. The other guy is a rat rodent, an annoying little rodent. <laughs> what are we saying? My boy, right here. Oh, this is my boy, right here. Annoying little rodent. Man, the Wild Samoan. There are people. Watching. There are people that are watching this show right now. They can't stand me. Do well, I look like a rodent? The only reason they tune in is for this motherfucker right here. So <laughs> it goes both ways. Stop it. You know my joke about you being a god. I just told you yeah, before we came I in. Mean, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll no, I won't even bring up the thing I that, that know, came I to know. it. But I, my joke was, yo, these guys look at you like a god, <laughs> which would make me god's drunk friend. God's bitch. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't go that far at all. <laughs> no? No. No. God owes me a fucking so big thank you for a so lot listen, of things. Before we get off topic too much, but uh, Brock Lesnar announced that uh, he did meet with Dana White, Vince McMahon, and uh, basically, you know, he came out and one of the lines that he had, maybe you can remember better than I can, I'd left right but he here. said that uh, my MMA journey, or my journey in MMA is over. I'm done. Yeah. And Michelle Beadle later followed up that question, so are you saying that you are never going to be back in an octagon? And he said, I am done with the UFC. I'm done with MMA. You're not going to see me back. He said he took into a lot of different things in consideration with the decision. Um, it sounded you know, like with his, health, his father. And I, and I, yeah. His father, a health. And not only that, but he also said that Vince McMahon put an offer on the table that was something that he could not turn down, where he's got a part-time schedule, he can pretty much work when he wants. Um, and Look, they're making pizza with bacon now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. That's an inside joke. Fuck you, yeah. man. <coughs> All right, but anyway, uh, listen, <coughs> you want the inside joke? There's a Pizza Hut commercial yeah. that airs during Monday Night Raw, and I know you guys... That, but I yeah. know... It's a deep dish pan No, it goes too. deeper than that. No, but it's, it's a, a joke. deep dish pan Anytime pizza. I'm serious and trying to do anyway, something important, he's but anyway, like distracted by the dumbest shit and interrupts me for something stupid. There is a Pizza Hut... And when he goes on a rant, I listen to him. Not there is there, a Pizza often. Hut commercial that airs on Raw, okay? And it's this pizza, and it's a deep... It looks like a cake, to be honest with you. When you look at the pizza, it looks like a cake. <laughs> this thing is surrounded by bacon. It's got bacon all... Oh, Oh my god. Ooh. I know you guys watched it. Ooh. I know you Ooh. saw it on Raw last night. This 
fucking Pizza Hut commercial. And it aired like two or three times. But it's not as good as Burger King's chicken fries. That's I was going to say, there were no Burger King commercials on Raw last night. There kind of was one, yeah, right in the fucking but middle. God, that show. pizza! Oh, it's covered in bacon. It looks like a cake. It's oh, a God, it's dish. disgusting. Oh, it's... Oh, God. No. Dude, bacon on pizza? Are no, you thank serious? You. No, anything on pizza. Give Dude. me a double cheese pizza. What do they call it? Extra cheese pizza. B- bacon on anything. Light sauce. Bacon on anything. You could take a... Uh, 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 Asparagus, or a carrot, or an apple, and put bacon on it. There you go. This guy runs Pizza Hut, the as, local Pizza as Hut. As long as it's got bacon on By it. By the way, it's Little Caesars, not Pizza Hut. He's right. I remember. Is that, that. what it is? Yeah, Little yeah. Caesars. Well, what a pizza, pizza. Oh my God. Oh, that thing looks. Anyways, like, you're. I'm sorry. Yeah. I took you way off. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> so Brock Lesnar said that he took in a lot of different factors and he met with Vince McMahon. They were finally able to come to an agreement last night prior to Raw. Staples Center, and that's what we had put up on the website. What's that funny is they needed to come up with something. You had mentioned that he had already talked to Dana and stuff, right? You had said that. That's what he said. Yes, <laughs> that's what she said. All right. Oh, but <laughs> what's funny is when he met. Do you remember what? It, forget the city. What exact building he was in when he met with Dana White and popped up on UFC pay per view, shocking everybody. It was the Staples it Center. It was the Staples Center, Center in Los yeah. Angeles, California. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. No that's poetic. Yeah, that's yeah. poetic, not poetic justice. Cause it all comes back in full circle. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Even yeah. better, like a pizza, full circle. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> but listen, man. So here's what I want to ask you. Uh, we something. know that Brock Lesnar's reached a new deal. He didn't reveal the terms. He just said that the. I was going to ask you a question. The amount right. of money. No, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, and we'll see if it's the same thing. Well, I, but I'm just going to say I left the second I could tell what he was going to say. You took off. I opened the door, stood there for two seconds, and when he said. Uh, my MMA career is over. I shut the door. You I was like, all right, I know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so, so I didn't hear so, anything else. So basically, uh, he he didn't reveal the the terms of the offer, what he was getting paid. He just said that it's a very high paying offer. He's got a he can work part time. Um, here's the question. So we don't know if it's like the very very limited thing, like the thing he has now. It's probably about probably the same, the same thing, thing. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. But the question that I have for you okay. is going into last night's RAW. We knew that Brock and Vince were at an amp- impasse as far as negotiations were concerned. Yeah. And we knew that, listen, after WrestleMania, his contract is up. So you got to come to some sort of agreement at last night's Raw. Yes. All right? You got you to gotta figure something out at last night's Raw. And we had put that up on the website. It leaves we had, we oh, had put it? that up on the website. <laughs> yeah. So they get to Raw last night. Brock's been playing hardball. Vince has been playing hardball. Neither wants to give in. It's almost We're like they're one playing tug of on. war. Tug of war. Yeah. Playing tug of war. Who's going to give in first? Yeah. If so you were to question? if you were oh. to ask me, Vince gave in. Oh, last who gave in first? Night. Vince gave in last night. I, uh, that's a hard question to answer. The obvious answer would be, yeah, Vince gave in first. But Brock did say during his and I know you didn't see all of it, but Brock did say that. Listen, I'm getting older. Um, I don't want to leave the UFC. I don't want to go out. Um, leave the UFC. I don't want to leave the UFC and leave MMA with a losing record. And oh. I want to go out he on a that? high note. Yes, he wow. said I want to go out kind of on a high note. And what do I have to prove? What do I have to gain if I go back to MMA and UFC? And in WWE, I get to be able to work. Part time schedule. I don't have to train like a beast yes. for three, four months, and I have fun. I enjoy being here. So, did Brock know the entire time I ain't going back to UFC? Yes. But I'm gonna try to get everything I can out of WWE, and then that goes right back to the question: If that's the case, who gave in? Okay. The first part, yes, he knew all along. But he wasn't going back. It was contingent on what the offers were. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know I'm not going back to UFC unless WWE tries to lowball the shit out of me. Right. And then, yeah, fuck you, I'll go to UFC because right. he's a money guy. Would he go to UFC or would he say no? He'd have probably gone to Bellator because they got the deepest pot. But nobody considered them a real contender. Yeah. But I'm sitting here right now in a... What color chair is this? A black chair. Bellator's making big moves, man. They got Viacom behind them. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, guess what? Between Bellator, WWE, and UFC, right. even though Bellator is the smallest company, right. they're the biggest company. Nobody's got with, more money with than With the Viacom. network and no, the, yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's got the most money to make the biggest offer? 
Did you see... Well, you UFC's see not this. broke by any means. Neither is WWE. They got <laughs> tons of cash. But guess yeah, what? But They're not on Viacom's level. Viacom owns all these... N- I don't even want to, you couldn't even start to list the shit yeah, Viacom I know, on. I know, I know. So Viacom, did you see when the uh, the story came out? Remember Rampage? We got shocked during that one shitty UFC fight night. I'm back. Rampage yeah, back in UFC. Right, right. But he had right, a Bellator right. deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, so right now they're in litigation. Bellator's trying to stop him from returning to UFC and fighting in uh, August. Is August. that the holdup for Rampage returning to UFC? He can't, uh, or... It's the contract. Okay. He didn't finish his Bellator contract. He right. to Bellator. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Long story. The contract leaked online, so I'm assuming oh, you really? didn't see it. No, I haven't seen it yet. The offer, not the offer, the deal he signed, Rampage. Right. Quentin Jackson. Yeah. Which, by the way, big star, don't get me wrong. Yeah. The offer that they gave him, they were so fucking desperate to get him. They wanted him bad, right, You right. can't imagine the amount of... They gave him movie guarantees, Did they? TV guarantees, really? options for boxing matches against Roy Jones Jr. They gave him a huge signing bonus. Did they? Pay-per-view points. Right, right, all, right, right. all this sponsorship shit. A car as a signing bonus. Like, all what kinds of shit. That was from Rampage. Rampage. Can Did you imagine? Did Bellator do that to, uh, <laughs> to, um, when Bellator first signed, it was Rampage. It was Rampage. Didn't Rampage come out and say that Bellator's CEO, uh, Bjorn Rebney, I think at the time, not CEO, he, well, he offered me a car, and he offered me vacations, and everything else. Yes. Right, and the actual document, the contract itself, leaked online. MMA News. The Bellator con- or yes. the UFC? The oh, all right. Then we're on the same page. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the UFC contract. The point right. is I to bet. get it back to Lesnar. Okay. The amount of crap that they offered. Right. Quentin Jackson. Right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Big star. Huge star. He's not Brock Lesnar. No. Not by a fucking long shot. Right. Right. Okay? Right. right, right. So can you imagine think about what Bellator would how hard offer. they would have offered Lesnar yeah. shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lesnar also would know in his head, I can go there and I can kick Kimbo's yeah. ass. Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah, absolutely. I could kick Bobby Lashley's ass. Right, right. Most likely. If they want to go real freak show. How big would that be for us, Lashley and Lesnar? Oh, my God, I was going to do that. Me and Charles were talking earlier today. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I'm like, you know what? As much as we want to come back to MMA, Bellator yeah. is better for us than oh. UFC. Sure, UFC would get more media and this and that, yeah. and, and yeah. actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd probably be the same because he's but as far as he goes, Ross promotion is concerned. They can go oh Lashley, God. Kimbo, and if they want to go total freak show, Ken Shamrock. Is yeah, Shamrock is fighting Frank Kimbo. Shamrock in there, right? Oh, he's already yeah. in there. He's fighting Kimbo. Oh, that's right. They yeah. have Shamrock and Kimbo. They changed the date. Yeah. Real quick note, uh, sidebar: uh, June nineteenth, not June twentieth. Okay, they switched the date. Kimbo's gonna whoop his ass, man. I don't think so. Are you serious? I think Shamrock taps him out. Shamrock beats Kimbo? He submits him. Really? Submission. Dude, Shamrock is a joke. And I know Kimbo's a joke these days, too, so I can't really... <laughs> if they <laughs> stay standing, Kimbo both, knocks him out. But if jobs. they go to the ground, Shamrock taps him out. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're but right. anyways, all right. so could you imagine what they would offer Lesnar? Right, blah, 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 blah. And then to answer your question, yes. He knew he was signing with WWE unless the offer's were shit from there to be, and the offers were great from the MMA world. Right. Then, at the worst, as far as fans are concerned of wrestling, he would you, he would tell them, hey, listen, this is what they're offering me. Or at least kind of allude to the fact that, you know, no, I'm not taking that. Fuck right. you. Right. And they're like, shit, we have to give him something better. He called her bluff. Mm-hmm. So they offer him a little something better. No, fuck you, I'm not taking that. Right. So then, at some point, they would realize, we got to give him a fucking sweet offer, or he ain't coming back. they do it, though. So, who, to answer your second question, who butts first? Vince probably budged first in the sense that because we knew there was a big blow up three or four weeks ago right. in Nashville. Lesnar Next walked out. Raw, right. Lesnar walked out. He's supposed to be on that show, so he owes them a date still on this contract. Right. right. But, um, <clears throat> so Vince had to. And you all think, oh, I'm sorry, but you all think, you know, Lesnar owes them one date. Lesnar's getting paid to go out there and stand next to Paul. This. Just like that. This is a six-figure payday for Lesnar. Three he's, minutes of this. He's getting paid like $150,000, $200,000 to go out there and do that. It's over $100,000. It's over $100,000. Every time you guys see Brock Lesnar on Raw, if you look at his current contract, which is expiring this Sunday, but his current contract... I'm getting paid like Lesnar. ...to right. go out there... He made <laughs> over a hundred thousand like dollars to let Paul Heyman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, let, to let Paul Heyman do that, and he and he sits there like this, right? 
He gets over a hundred thousand dollars every time you guys see. Think about what Lesnar you make a year and understand that for the, the average, the majority of you, Lesnar gets paid ten times as much as you get paid per year to do this for three minutes. Crazy, on man. TV. On it's TV. Crazy. Woohoo! It's crazy. But uh, uh, right, assume, so who's back down first? I would assume that Lesnar didn't back down. They oh, had this God. sticking point that they had the big blow up over in Nashville mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. Lesnar walked out. Right. So. Last night in Los Angeles, they had to come at him with something different. Right. And if you're asking, that's in a sense, that's backing down technically. Right. Because if there was, whatever the sticking point was, and we may never find out now that he resigned. If mm-hmm. he hadn't resigned, we probably would have found out. Right. Now that we have, unless Dave Meltzer can get it, I don't think we're finding out. Mm-hmm. So the question was, what were they arguing over? What was the sticking point that led to the blow up walkout? It was money. And we have put that Something on the website. Related, but what was it? Was it right? You want me to work too many dates, or you're not going to give me enough per date, or could be anything. Anything. Too could long of a non compete if I leave. You know, whatever it was. Right. They had to change that because Lesnar would not say, "All right, never mind, I'll take it." Right. right. You know what I mean? So obviously they had to. I wouldn't call it back down, but they had to present a different offer. A different offer that you know. And maybe they met in the middle, so nobody backed down. Who knows? You never know. Who knows? But anyways, uh, Brock Lesnar is now under contract with WWE, so past so WrestleMania. Around. He didn't say how long the contract now, was for? He did. Okay. He did. Did he say multi-year, he, long-term? He didn't say multi-year. Like he didn't that? say long-term. He didn't say anything like that. He didn't like allude that. to anything about he how long. He didn't allude to anything. Okay. Not a multi-year contract. Not a long-term deal. Nothing. But it's a part-time deal where he's allowed them work limited amount of so days. He's got the same sweet as and, deal. And okay. that's it. It's it's pretty much the uh, the the pretty much the same the same deal. But anyway, with that being said, with that being said, uh, here's the deal. We're gonna get the plugs out of the way. We got a little surprise for you tonight. Not a big surprise, but I don't even know what it is. This Saturday, do I know what it is? Uh, oh, you and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and I, um, it's not a surprise. Don't get I'm excited. Really, I'm, Try, I, I tried yeah. to downplay it. Although you are a god, so maybe they're excited to... Yeah. Somebody just called me a gimp in the chat room. What? Tasmaniac. It's just no, a Ryan, gimp. It's just a gimp. No, he's a pimp. Maybe that's what they meant to say. Mm. No, I didn't mean to. Is G next to P? No, not even close. I'm a gimp. You're a gimp. That's the guy in Pulp Fiction. So you're a rodent and I'm a gimp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you never seen Pulp Fiction, I'm sure. No. I don't watch movies. The amount of movies this guy I don't watch movies. But, uh... So anyway, here's the deal. Y'all know that WrestleMania is coming up this Sunday. Nope. Godfather? Nope. Scarface? No. Jesus Christ. Carlito's Way? No. Reservoir Dogs? Titanic? No. Mean Streets? Titanic? Titanic? No. I was forced to watch that with a girlfriend when I was 12. I wouldn't have watched it if... (laughs) That's not one you should be embarrassed about. I saw... uh, My favorite... My favorite... out of vagina. There you go. That's worse than a gimp. My uh, my favorite movie by the way. of all time yes, and close. probably one of the only five movies that I've ever watched, Full Metal Jacket. That's a great fucking movie. I love it. That's a great I love fucking it. movie. When the drill sergeant is is up in front of He's everybody. He's the man, bro. Ah, uh, you suck a, a golf ball through a garden hose. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is um um uh, clerks. Uh, clerks. I've watched all the clerks. I've watched all of them, dude. Um, and then the other one is, um, um, they're in the bathroom at the end. And, and American History them. X. American History X. Those are all great movies. Yeah, I've watched Great, those. great movies. And I loved them all. All three of them, I, I would say, them are some of the best movies ever, yes. But, uh, alright, so here's the deal. Uh, <coughs> you guys know, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, WrestleMania... The Rock? Bit. The Brock? By the way, if Brock's re-signed, what about The Rock next year? Mm. Mm. You know, Brock teased, or uh, Rock teased that in Let's an interview. Let's go on Get the plug. All right. Uh, so here's the deal. He, everybody knows that uh, WrestleMania is coming up this Sunday night. Really? On review. It is. Everybody wow. knows. You didn't know. I forgot. You know now. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. N-word. <laughs> um, you said. So, so here's the deal. Uh, the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony is uh, Saturday night, so it's going to be a busy night for... Uh, for especially you, I think you're doing play-by-play of the Hall of Fame on Saturday night. I haven't asked him yet. All right. Uh, but nonetheless, we need to do a WrestleMania show as we do every year. So Boone and I were talking earlier today, when can we fit this thing in, man? As we know that basically the deal here is there's no SmackDown TV tapings tonight. Today is a travel day. And they're already in Los Angeles as Raw was, you know, at the Staples Center last night. But it's a travel day. Everybody's headed towards, I say San Jose, but Santa Clara. Yeah. Uh, California. What's the name of the stadium again? 
Levi's. There you go. Levi's. So Not Levi's. Right? Levi's. Man. Um, but uh, so today's a travel day. day. Everybody arrives. In so casual too. WrestleMania this year. Will be <laughs> everybody, day. everybody arrives <laughs> in San Jose, Santa Clara today. It's a travel day. Yes. Everybody gets up there. Access tomorrow. Is tomorrow is kind of tomorrow's the last day of freedom. Media day. A little yeah. bit of well, media here yeah, there. Media, the guys have got to do media. But mostly, mostly yeah. freedom tomorrow. Thursday access starts. Friday Access, Saturday Access, Hall of Fame, Saturday night, Sunday's WrestleMania. Monday's so, Raw, Tuesday SmackDown, so yeah, they're fucked when, for a while. When can we fit this in? My idea was yeah, so tonight, <laughs> my idea was tonight, after we go off the air, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, we tell these guys, hey, listen, the show's over, we're going to record a half hour, 45 minute, one hour, whatever, pre-show for WrestleMania. You said to me, well, what if something breaks throughout the week, man, and then we don't get to cover that? I said, you're right, we can't go back and that. always happens to So, we know that tomorrow, we could do it tomorrow, it's a little bit too early. We know we've got access on Thursday, access on Friday, so we figured Saturday afternoon, uh, right before the Hall of Fame. If anything the happens with the Hall of Fame on, we don't miss it, because <coughs> that's part right, of the show, right. pretty much, WrestleMania. Leading into the Hall of Fame, um, you know, we What time does we'll, the Hall of Fame start? I think 8 o'clock. I think it's 8 to 11 on the WWE Network. They blocked out three hours for it? Three hours. Well, you get the entire thing because it's on WWE Network. Yeah, but they last year, year and not last, the last several years, they started giving people time limits. They used to let them say whatever they want for as long as they want, and then they started saying, you've got 10 minutes for your speech, that's it. They did, but keep Mr. T didn't follow suit, but yeah. <laughs> I love my mom. I love my mom. I love my mother. I love my mom. My mother, my mother, my mother. My mom is not so fast. So anyways, uh, after Raw next Monday night, the USA Network is going to air a one-hour show, or maybe before the Raw. Edited is one. it yeah, yeah. before or I after? Don't know. I don't know. One of the two, but it's going to be a one-hour show. If you want to watch the whole show, which we haven't been able to do until last year with last the year. WWE yeah. Network, uh, you can watch the entire thing on the WWE Network. Now, if you want the edited version, which you're going to see Kevin Nash, Ultimate Warrior, and not all the warrior, Randy Savage. Randy uh, Savage, my bad. I said war. Uh, and maybe Zabisco or or somebody like that. I can't even remember all the names, but I'm sure Zabisco wouldn't be. You're one gonna of you're gonna get Medusa. I I don't know. But they usually do like the legend, the diva, and the uh, the recent guy. Yeah, and a dead they guy. did Trish last so year. So be Nash, Nash last year. Savage. Fuck, man, I'm drawing a total blank on the inductees. Well, if they're doing year. a diva, it would be Medusa. I know, but name some of They've got the guy in Mexico that that they announced on SmackDown last week. No, it was a Jap Japanese You've got Diesel, guy. or Japanese guy, yeah. or what I say. We Had need to so talk about uh, Perro's death, too. Yeah, Paraguay, um, yeah. yeah. Um, um, fuck, I'm drawing a total blank on the Hall of Fame inductees. The Bushwhackers wouldn't be... Maybe they would, who knows? Maybe they would, because yeah. they're a uh, big dick. Remember this but, thing? Yeah, yeah. Remember Yay! That? Remember the thing where they oh, go, oh. <laughs> take your head off and do that to me. <laughs> but anyway, so so listen. Here's what we're planning on doing on Saturday afternoon. As long as this works for you, we were thinking four o'clock Eastern time because I know some of you guys are in the United Kingdom, oh, so it gets a little me. bit it gets a little bit late for you guys. Some of you guys are in California, so we didn't want to... If ah, we started at... Is Rikishi one of them? And Arnold, Schwar is, Arnold Schwarzenegger is absolutely one of them. Arnold, you're yeah. right, you're right. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, uh, so thank you for the chat room, w0online.com slash chat. Sorry, go ahead. I was, I was thinking like 2 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday, but then there's people on the West Coast 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we tried, yeah, to, we tried to kind of fit it in before the Hall of Fame where everybody's awake. It's a good time for you guys. 4 o'clock Eastern time on Saturday. Man, what is I don't like office, that guy. office problem yeah, tonight? I don't know. Uh, man, he's a good dude. I'm a big fan of he's all the Samoan guys, too. I know it's a fake name, but Jesus Christ. But uh, listen, 4 o'clock Eastern Time on Saturday. We're going to come on here. It's going to be a half hour, maybe an hour. We're going to run down the entire WrestleMania card from top to bottom. Uh, we're going to give our predictions match by match. Talk Thank about the kickoff. Friend. Yes. Talk about the kickoff show. Talk about the Hall of Fame later that night. 4 o'clock this Saturday. So, hopefully you guys are going to be around. Hopefully you guys can join us. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm going uh, to put uh, <coughs> notices up on my Facebook page and on the website as well. But the WZR TV WrestleMania pre-show or prediction show, whatever you guys want to call preview it. Show. Um, preview show. is going to be this Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. 
4 o'clock Eastern Time. That's 1 o'clock for you guys on the West Coast. That's 9 or 10 o'clock for you guys over in the United Kingdom. Hopefully that works for you guys, and uh, we can do It'll this It'll be archived, Saturday. so you can watch it And we'll do an archive where, like Boone said, you'll be able to, I mean, we'll be, uh, guys will be Hopefully, able to watch it on Sunday. Dan Humphreys, it's usually my fault the last few weeks, because you don't like to have the... When we upload the archive, the computer I think he'll be slow. quick for WrestleMania weekend. But for the last few weeks, yeah. we've been like two days later after the yeah, show yeah, we have yeah. the archive. That's, that's just we don't like to upload right after the show because we got to do spoilers. We don't right. have to do it tonight, so this right. week's will be up tomorrow. Okay. But it's been my fault, not Humphreys, because right. I don't like to slow the computer down for you. And and so you know what? hopefully, what I was saying with all that was hopefully Humphreys, Daniel Humphreys, fucking great guy. Awesome. That's what I was just going to so say. So fucking good at YouTube and all that shit. We don't give that guy enough I, I, credit. Go, yeah. go ahead and finish. I was just going to say hopefully he's able to. Do a quick turnaround with the preview show for uh, Mania. On He's Saturday. always good to us when last it comes year to WrestleMania it. weekend and, and things last like that. Last year he had it up within like three hours. Not only that, man, yeah. but if you go to youtubecom slash WZR, it's amazing, I, dude. It's unbelievable. I checked it out a couple and he of does, weeks ago. iTunes, he does all kinds of shit. I checked it out yeah. a couple of weeks ago. He has got that page. Decked out like you wouldn't believe. It's amazing. With like wallpaper and all this. It's stuff. a real channel. Y'all should go there. I mean, the, load me up, up, load up a different browser, but go to youtubecom slash Archive. Type that in your browser right now and Impressive. see and see what Daniel Humphreys has done. That's all him with the art. That's we haven't done. I anything didn't touch like a that. fucking thing. That's all him. You should type uh, youtubecom slash Archive. He is awesome, man, at what he does. All right. We need to get into Monday Night Raw right, from last night. On Facebook. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> we need to get into Monday Night Raw from last night. Let me get the plugs out of the way. The official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. WZRonline.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. We're on Twitter as well. All you got to do is go to WZRonline.com. Top navigation bar. It's got a drop down menu. Social media tab. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZRonline.com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. Got a live chat room on and in progress, Where? as always, every Tuesday night and 365 days it? a year, 24 hours a day. How do it's I always get there? online. How do they get there? They know. go to WZRonline.com. Look at that. Oh. Slash chat. WZRonline.com. Slash chat. Get in there, lots and lots of people, even more than normal, in there tonight. WZRonline.com slash chat. Now that, that is how you do a motherfucking plug. Monday Night Raw. They're talking Raw. about someone's crooked Last yellowish night. teeth in the chat room, and I don't think it's crooked me, but holy Christ, teeth. that that sounds just like me. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> anyways, get in the live chat room like Boone said, WZRonline.com slash chat. Uh, you don't smile that often, so it's not I got a, fucked uh, up teeth. Yeah, try and hide it. Uh, when I'm drunk, <coughs> around friends or girls or anything, if I if there's something, far, I gotta put my head down when I laugh. I don't. I think you're too hard on yourself, man. I, I listen. Don't don't. I'm not gay. Boone and I aren't gay by any means, but you're not a bad looking dude. Thank you. I got a big fat face, yeah, man, I and I, I freely admit that. My face is huge, and that's one thing that I'm... And Boone's got the thing that, you know, my teeth and my mom fat, I'm getting fat. Yeah. I got the fat face, <laughs> So that's why I wear a hat to try to cover up the... We've had some beers today. tonight. <laughs> we have. Anyways. I don't know why you just did that, but all right, let's rock and roll. What? <laughs> what did I do? We're not gay, but well, that was a little gay right Somebody there. brought up the, 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 I'm sorry. the teeth. Yeah. Get out of here. What happened on Raw? Monday Night Raw from last night. Real Look quick, before we get into it, before we start Raw. <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. What? What? What was all that you're last? So, you're, you're I'm so an asshole. You're self deprecating? No, no. Loathing? You're, you're, you, you don't have much self esteem. Self esteem. Okay. You don't have much of it. It's pretty much all the same thing yeah. I just said. But, anyways. Before we get so into Raw. Deprecating. Is, deprecating. Is, means oh, deprecating. You're, you're a guy that makes fun of yourself or talks shit about yourself a lot. Anyway, before we get into Raw, what was your big word last week that I didn't even know? Im oh, God. Uh, Im uh, improv? No. Im no. God damn it, that's going to bug me. What was it? Are you sure it's Im? Yeah, it starts with an I. It was like... Improvised? No. Those are easy words. It was a big one. I don't know. Oh, oh, God, that was a good one, too. So, before we get into Raw, well, I was going to ask you, before we get into Raw, two questions. Yes. And they're pretty much the same question, but different dynamics. 
top to bottom, what did you think of the show as a weekly Raw show, and then okay. as the go home show for WrestleMania? All right, listen. listen. So two different questions. I say everybody in the chat because I guarantee they know which word I'm talking about. Somebody in the chat, help me out. Winners layer, somebody. <laughs> go ahead. What do you think of Raw? <laughs> listen, I said last night on Facebook. I thought Raw as a regular Raw show. They're all trying, but they don't get it. Uh, <laughs> Innovative. No, it's not. Wasn't it's innovative? a word that I barely know. And these are all words. Oh, was that are, innovative. No. It, it was an I and there was a P in there somewhere, but I think it was innovative. It was not innovative. Believe I me, I was. know what the word innovative means. It was and I can promise you. No. Anyway. Uh listen. Raw top to bottom as a weekly raw show, I thought it was a good show. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was good. The problem this is the go home show until WrestleMania 31. I'm gonna shut they the goddamn. They don't got it. They don't got it. They're all trying. Thank you. The problem was Imperial was is closed. John Morgan. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The I'm problem. The, the the problem was is that it was the the go home show. I just want to see for, for WrestleMania 31. And listen, this is a lackluster card. Mick Foley says it isn't. Jim Ross says it isn't in their blogs, on their tweets, everything else. It's a lackluster card. There's three matches that stand out. Triple H Sting, Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker, I guess Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Other than that, the IC title match is another one that I'm looking forward to. You've got the Andre Battle Royal that I'm looking forward to. The Divas match, nobody's looking forward to that. You've got the pre-show match, a fatal four-way for the tag team titles. John Morgan keeps <laughs> getting... Ain't nobody getting it, can't, can't, John Morgan keeps getting nobody real getting close, it. but it's not, it's not of those. <laughs> anyway. It's, probably impeccable. it's not the same meaning, but it's spelled kind of the same. He's getting Let me close. ask you yes. two questions. Go ahead. What did you well, think? Well, no, give me the letter grade. What did you think of the, the show, top to bottom? All right, you a regular right, weekly show, and then right. the go-home show. As a regular weekly show... A yeah. solid B. It's As okay. the go home show for WrestleMania, a C minus. The, the, for the WrestleMania go home show, the way you grade it is pretend you're a kid again. Okay. Or a teenager, because you weren't a kid a fan. But when that you're a, a teenager, a D, I know and where you you're need going to convince your mom to buy the, buy, buy the show for you, because you're a kid, you don't have money yet. Right. So, how yeah. eager would you be when you hit the remote to turn the show off at the end of the day? To say, Mom, I need to see it, please. You know, this is this is one of the worst WrestleMania cards lineups that I've seen in years. Yes. So I, I, not the lineup. The way that they sell you enough with their angles, like, oh, I got to see what happens no. with this. You know, no, because I'm not excited for any of the. That's matches. the answer, then. Yes. Yeah, so so a D. So a D. Yeah. A D. I would I would say as a regular weekly show, comparing it to regular weekly shows, it was a good B B plus. It was a decent show. So you agree? I'm I'm right there with you. But as a man, and you had a great word. Would you get off that? You've been going on for like five minutes right I now. I gotta know what it is. Ain't nobody gonna get it in the chat room. How does nobody remember? We're that? trying to grade raw. We're trying to move on to raw. I made such a listen, big deal about it last week. Listen, I'm all right. Off I'm the sorry. Anyways, uh, as a go home show, selling people that need sold, you know, because there's a billion fans, not a billion, but a lot of fans that are going to buy it no matter how bad they do or how good they do on selling it to you. But it's the fans that are on the fence that need convincing. Right, right. That was a D minus. D minus. You know, it was bad. Yeah, you can't give it an F because they did do something no. with, I mean, oh God, wait until we get to the main event, okay? The main segment. The way, the way that Raw went off the air last night. Fuck, I think I got the hiccups coming. <laughs> the way that you deserve it for going I on five minutes it. for a word I'm that still I'm still trying to think of it but listen they did do the Sting Triple H thing I liked it started off and I was thinking oh fuck here we go with what we've been waiting for like, right. this is the Raw we've been like where the fuck is this why aren't they doing right. what they should be doing and then when it started off I was like oh cool and then as soon as Stephanie's music hit I was like never mind well you know what they were yeah. doing <laughs> like, like a couple of weeks ago I don't remember if it was I think it maybe three weeks ago yeah. they started it out like WCW versus WWE right yes. and now which always made me think Sting should be but, a heel now it's kind of like it's the bat against the sledgehammer. Yeah. 
where and, and I think yeah, I think yeah. maybe they thought what you did <laughs> where all right they were originally going to do this WWE versus WCW thing that makes Sting the heel so yeah. let's go with the bat versus sledgehammer yeah. type deal and, well, and that's what they've done in the last what they of really weeks. as far as if you're a fan fan and you're not a you guy that follows everything you would think that Sting is this legendary guy that if you're a fan fan you might not even know who he is because you'd have to be old or at least old or at least fucking you know right. 20s 30s or older um but basically the way they've been selling it is that he's been watching Triple H abuse his power all these years and he's this was the, the vigilante that's going to come in vigilante. and he's right, going right. to fucking stop him from right. abusing his power and screwing shit up that's why he came right. in at uh, Survivor Series and, and you know and they lost their power but they were back a couple weeks later right he came in last week on Raw when they were going to fuck Ward and you know he's the guy that's kind of trying to level the playing fields of justice right you know what let's I mean? let's get into it let's man because it, because Sting and opened up on time. Sting Sting opened up Raw last night right uh they had plugged that on dot com that was the first the time day. that I can recall we've ever heard his and seen his full entrance in or we've heard the call, call and then he right. just shows up. But we've well, heard the music. This is the first time. This is yeah. the first time uh, on Raw. This I is mean, the first time he was not doing a run-in where he just came out. Well, and I'm, I'm right. Uh, yes, every time we've yes. seen him was a run-in, right, or a surprise. Here he is. This, this was the, the first, first time, time like, we get the him out there. Thing. This is also well, should have been safe. This is anyway. also the first time in WWE that we've seen him talk on Raw. Now, I know That's after the Raw went point. off yeah, yeah. off the air on the network, they did a very brief thing with Randy Orton and uh, Sting, where Sting spoke, and he yeah. said, it's great to be here. But he basically comes out, he says, it's great to be here. This is what it feels like to open Monday Night Raw, to be in the opening segment on Monday Night Raw. It feels great to be here. Woo! He does the Ric Flair. Woo! Not woo! He had his own. It was Ow! Ow! Is that what it is? Yeah. All right. So he basically says that uh, he's not fighting for Which WCW. Which wasn't part of his Crow character, by the way. That was his we're surfer gonna... boy, blonde top. Right, yeah. right. But we're going to try to get through All this. Right, right. But uh, he says like that... Uh, really yeah, up. that's... Uh, I'm going to skip most of the stuff. But he says he's not here fighting for WCW. He is here fighting... Um, because that'd be silly. That's yeah. what he said. It'd be he silly. Didn't say silly. He said that would, I think he said that would be ridiculous after all these years. Something yeah, like I that. I thought he said silly. It was a big word. Silly. But it anyway. was a word with an eye. Oh, no. God, here we go. He says, God, uh, he word. says uh, in the back of my mind trying to figure it out. He says that uh, he's going to knock Triple H down a peg, down a notch. Okay. Right? Uh, Stephanie McMahon, her music hits. Time grace. I'm looking for a <laughs> She came out, right? And she's here yes. to, to fight for Triple H tonight for, for some reason, right? Love Stephanie. And uh, JBL, by the way, on commentary, called Sting the biggest star in the promotion, in a promotion full of stars in WWE. Is that what he said? In a promotion said, full of stars? He said he is the biggest star in a promotion full of stars. I know. It's great to see Sting here. I can't believe he's going to rain. Yeah, and during the promo, Stephanie tried to dress him down by saying, yeah, I know you were a big fish in a small pond in WCW, but here you're just a minnow in right. an ocean, you know, or something Right, like that. right. So this is where uh, Stephanie McMahon goes to slap Sting. Yeah. He blocks it. Yes. Triple H's music hits. Grabs his, yeah. He comes down. Under the ring, he's got sledgehammer. Well, no. He comes out with the sledgehammer. He doesn't. He comes out, and he goes to Stephanie, and he says, Did he put his hands on you? All fight. <laughs> right, right. All fight, but you can hear it on the camera. They were sure to do that. Right, right, right. And then uh, he goes to get on the apron. He's thinking about getting in the ring, but he stops. Stephanie says, Wait, wait, wait. And then she goes under the ring, and then right. she does the old Vince McMahon versus Hulk Hogan WrestleMania thing where... She, I can't get low enough, but she pops up from the table and she's got that sick smile on her face, like right, right, <laughs> and then hands him the sledgehammer. Right, right, and right, even right. when he gets the sledgehammer, as he goes to enter the ring, Sting pulls the bat out of his coat and he stops and doesn't come in. Yeah, and then it's basically Sting versus the bat, and that's kind of the yeah. end of the uh, the end. To of stand the off, Sting so. drops the bat, dares him to come in, he doesn't. Step, right. and he says, "Wait, just get him this Sunday." You know? Right. We had uh, Ambrose and Truth against Harper and Stardust. Way better. Barrett was the uh, guy on commentary this week. We've had our truth on commentary over the last couple All of weeks. All these great so guys wasting We had Barrett, shit, I know. Man. But that IC title match is going to be off the charts. It'll be great. But does it mean anything? No, it doesn't. So let me ask you this. They're working with a ladder and a ladder match at WrestleMania. So, and hey. those guys in that match are going to kill themselves. Right, right. Poor choice of words wanna, considering what happened. But they're going to go nuts, and there could be a lot of injuries. Right. And the question is... 
should they do? Because there's no reason. Like, follow me here. I know, but there's no. Uh, when you go long, there's no spoilers. I know, I know, I know you got a lot of issues. Okay, but anyways, you don't have to. When I do something like that, you don't have to. But go ahead. I just want to join. Go ahead. I, I, but um, all right. It starts with an I, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a rodent. And yeah, 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 pizza yeah. with bacon. All right, anyways, I'm a gimp. <laughs> You're a gimp. So anyway. But uh, they're gonna kill themselves, and I understand killing yourself in a crazy match. If if it's like an important like if there's a lot on the line if, if it really means something, this match doesn't mean shit. Right. It's for a belt that doesn't mean nothing and an angle that's been treated like a comedy segment in right. the mid part of the show every week. And they're gonna because the Ziggler, Brian, Amber, those are guys that are gonna fucking kill themselves. Right. Trying to fucking make it you know. And a show. spoiler alert for you guys too. Uh, Daniel Bryan, um, as of right now, we put it up on the website is uh, expected to win the. Uh, Okay. The, uh, the lot of but yeah, it just, just it's like it's so why go that far and Give it, beat yourself up when it's not worth anything. Give it up for WWE. Uh, you know, like Dolph Ziggler granted a wish, John Cena granted a wish this past weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they brought out the special Olympic people on Raw last night, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's awesome yeah. that they do that, man. They're you know what I mean? The, uh, it's, the two, it's this year's Special Olympics World Games. Is that what it is? Okay. I believe so. That's All right. Called, I think. Well, they brought out a bunch of participants in the games or people that are affiliated with the. Special Olympics, yes. people that have mental disabilities, and uh, they brought them out on stage. It's just awesome that they that they do stuff yeah. like that, man. So it was really cool. And we got into that debate about them promoting their charitable efforts. It, is bring it a, that up for a second. So the question Go ahead. is, because and I've heard other people say like they're ass not assholes, but like it's like a shithead thing to do to brag about how much charity work you do. Now yes. the flip side of the coin, like why don't you be, just what do you why yeah, don't you just ahead. do the charity work without? Having to say it on, on Why television. Why do you promote the fact that you're doing nice things? But like you Just and I, nice things. Like you and I agreed yeah. that if they promote it, well, that's this their defense. We didn't discover it's, this. It's that's it, what they're in, in WWE's defense. If they promote it, more people become aware of the things that they're they doing. They can raise more money. And they can and raise they can, more money. They can they can get involved in more other charitable efforts because people the, and organizations like that know these guys are willing to help out and you know Exactly. But on the flip side there are people that come out and say, Well, you can do that stuff without coming out and promoting it. Yeah. But if you do that, it's a great thing. Their detractors think they do it to get a pat on the back. But like, wow, WWE's great. They're they doing kinda, yeah. they kinda do. They kinda do. They kinda do. Well but they not kinda while do. pretty doing much why so, they're doing but it. But while doing so, they're also raising more money. It's double edged so sword because they do it exactly. They do it for the wow, WWE's great. They do all these great things. Good promotion, good press, good media. Exactly. But while doing that like you said, they can raise more money. They're able to they raise more money. Broaden their awareness that they're willing to get involved in all these things. They can. They, they're, so they're it's good. <laughs> like they're doing. They're, it's a good thing, but they're doing it for the wrong reason. Like Boots said, they're 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 putting themselves over yes. as doing this, but but it works. To, to, it yes. works, and they're able to raise more money. In the it's long a good run, call. So. It works Listen, out in the end. Yeah. They didn't have to do anything. No. They don't have to do this, and and the fact that they do. They should be able to be able to mention. It is funny the ones they pick though. The be a the what is it? Be a star. The bully. Be a star. Bully. Then they do things that are totally oh, god that are totally of all people. A, a company all run right. by Vince McMahon should not be involved in an anti-bullying anything. Oh, god, Jesus I know. Christ! What did you think of Bill uh, Simmons on commentary during the Ryback, Zack Ryder, uh, Rowan, the tag team? I thought his voice was goofy, dude. Bill Simmons. Uh, listen, yeah. I know the dude gets a lot of hate. I know people fucking... Some people can't stand them. What was the thing we listened to? Bill Simmons' ESPN show every day. Bill Simmons... The BS Report. The, it's the BS Report. Bill Simmons... Not the name B of the show. What was the controversy we listened to him talk about? Bill Simmons? No, BS, BS Report. What was BS the thing that Bill he Simmons. did that got Get himself it? suspended? What was that? Uh, he came out... Oh, God, what was it? All oh, right. That's he, what I'm trying to think. He came out... It was during the Ray Rice thing. We, we Googled it last night. It was during the Ray Rice thing where yeah, he came what out. Did he, say? he came out. He said something about Ray Rice, and he dared ESPN to fire him, to suspend him, or fire him. Yeah, and that ESPN was wound up suspending no, but, him. No, he but did something and then dared him to fire. Ah, fuck it. He said something about the Ray Rice controversy. Okay, whatever. It's but anyway, fun. but he yeah, was yeah. on commentary last night. I thought he was fucking great. He clearly awesome. came off as a wrestling fan. Huge wrestling fan. And the announcers ignored everything happened in the ring to kiss him. I know, ass and I know. Him for Even JBL, who had a war on Twitter with him, yeah. I thought they were he really going to get into dick. it. Yeah. JBL was sucking up to him. Both of them were sucking up to each other. We had uh, Randy Orton against Seth Rollins, or versus Seth Rollins, Noble, and Mercury. And J&J Skirt. Yeah, it was the right. WWE app thing. They, uh, they, they voted. Right. Big Show came right. those three. They picked those three. The match happened. 
Right. In the end, Rollins ran away, fed J&J security to him, and right. Orton got the win, and they stared each other down. Could AJ Lee and Paige were teaming up at WrestleMania in a Divas title match? Or Divas they actually treated this like it mattered. That nobody cares yeah. about. But the Divas match on Raw, we had Nikki Bella against Paige. They gave it like 15 minutes, bro. They went Three to a commercial match. break. Yeah, with a big angle finish and an angle after the match with, uh, with a big Paige finish. and AJ Lee getting into it. AJ and Paige can't get along. They're going to yeah. team up at, at WrestleMania. And there were some segments match. before the match, too, because I think the, ga- the angle Well, that's was, what I said backstage. Nikki got to pick who she fought, either Paige or AJ. Or, and right, right, right. They were talking backstage and like, oh, she's just trying to get us to not like each other and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right, and they wound up fighting at the end. Well, so the angle that led to the finish was out mm-hmm. on the floor... Paige went to go get Nikki, and AJ was doing something, and AJ accidentally hit her from behind, like, elbowed her when Paige touched her, uh-huh. so AJ, Paige was, yeah, AJ hit Paige. They got into it at the end, right? Well, Paige, AJ caught, pa- caught Paige the match by accidentally hitting her, and then right. Nikki floored her in the ring, rack attack, one, two, three. Okay. After the match, Paige, AJ, yeah, then they got into it. And then they got into it. We're going to go to a commercial break. I want to come back Is it time? to Snoop and Hogan. Yeah, we got one minute, man. Oh, shit. I want to come back to Snoop and Hulk Hogan. Hold on a second. I'm just we'll get it. A couple, a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple, I'm sorry. Why every time I, I do shouldn't this? Why every time I, I shouldn't have mentioned it? Why every time I shouldn't have mentioned it? All right. <laughs> we had uh, Cesaro and Kid against Natalia and the uh, Los Matadoras and uh, Torito. Torito actually got the pin oh, on sorry, Natalia. Yeah. It was an intergender tag team match. Interspecies is what they call it. Interspecies. Yeah. Intergender is right, because right. they're not animals. What the fuck species? It was all... They're all human. human. They're all homo sapiens. Now, here's the problem. Yeah. This is the go-home show yeah. to WrestleMania. You've got El Torito out there pinning Natalia, yeah. bro. Who gets off at that shit? You know and what I mean? That's funny. Is the kickoff show match is a fatal four-way tag team match. Uh, tag titles. So, the titles on the line, blah, blah, blah. Right. The only two people not in that match that were in this to promote it... Right. Natalia? Yeah. El Torito. <laughs> and they were the ones with the <laughs> And finish. they were the ones with the finish. <laughs> oh, last thing before we go to the break, then we'll come back on the flip side and finish it up. We're also going to take your rapid fire questions and your live phone calls in our numero dos. Numero Rusev dos. against Jack Swagger. Uh, Rusev uh, wound up tapping out Swagger. Yeah, but he wouldn't let go of the holds. Wouldn't let go. Yeah, because then the announcer sold the fact that Lana is usually the one that gets him to break it. Right. She's not here, so Cena comes out to make the save, and then they do a very prolonged beatdown segment with Rusev throwing Cena into the barricade over the table. Big, Puts him in the accolade segment, on top yeah. of the table, refuses to let go. 700 referees are trying to pull him off. They won't. He gets in the ring, so on page, and on and flag on. flag drops. Yeah, that's, that's it went big. on and on. That was the go-home on. angle for them. I know, right? For all that yeah. build-up. Yeah. All right, so here's the Which deal. Which was okay, by the way. I, I didn't, I'm not trying I to I thought the beatdown went a little bit long. It went a little bit long, but as far as, like, the idea. Right. Let's right, leave right. Cena in trouble. Oh, fuck. He, Bruce, I really can't hurt him. Jacob was in there last night, and I said, Jacob, John Cena's getting his butt kicked. Yeah. You know, he's getting beat up here. Oh, John, John's going to come back. John going to beat him. John going to get him. Yeah. John going to get him. It was all. All right, listen. Here's the deal. We're going to come back on the flip side yes. after we plug rapid fire. Snoop Dogg, Curtis Axel, and Hulk Hogan comes out. I am going to tell you guys Why'd you why. Figure? I don't have Hogan's theme song. I am going to tell you. Fucker. Do you have? Uh, None do, of them. do you have Rock's theme? No. Do you have Austin's theme? Yes. I'll take Austin's theme. All right. So listen. On the flip well, side. Starting with Brock. On the flip side. By the way, that's the that's fine. thing. That's fine. Yeah. When we come back. <clears throat> when we come back. Yes. I am going to tell you why. Oh, your dumb thing. Oh, I am going to oh, tell man. you why. At WrestleMania 31. You remember last year? We had Hogan. Austin first thing and the show. Rock. Yeah, you remember we had all three of them in the ring to open yeah, the show. First thing the on the show, show. Yes. kicked off the show. I'm going to tell you why that Hogan, Austin, and Rock are going to be in a segment with Curtis Axel at WrestleMania 31. I'm going to tell you why, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm going to tell you why. I think you're going to see the same three legends in the ring with Curtis Axel at WrestleMania 31. We also want your rapid-fire questions. Indeed we do, and the way you can give them to us is by going to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark W0. That's Facebook.com slash Not, you don't know. No. No. Facebook.com <laughs> slash Ryan Clark W0. Our top post will ask for the questions and comments. In hour two, we'll get to them. Hey, sir, I'm not singling you out here, but we want you all to please leave them to one line, two lines or less, because we got to read all these motherfuckers. Love you, Acer. we 
We do love you. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WGR. We're also taking your calls now. Our number two interaction with you great fans. You great fans. And our number two coming right up after the break. I don't need to say anything else. We're Just out. That. We're coming back on the flip side in about five, six, maybe seven minutes from now. You're you listening <laughs> to WZR TV with Matt Boone, hey. Ryan Clark. We'll be back right after this. Indeed. Like Colgate. Thanks for having about toothpaste. Folks, I'm a constant. Crest, 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 um, crest whitening, strips. I can't think of any other kind. Colgate and Crest are the. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. Here for our numero dos. Here's what we're going to do. Got our live chat room on and in progress right now. Lots and lots of people in there as always tonight. WZRonline.com. Motherfucking dot com. I'll do it if you don't. There slash you chat. WZRonline.com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there as always <laughs> tonight. Here is <laughs> what we're going to do awesome. tonight. I just we're going to finish up Monday minutes. Night right. Raw from last night. We're also going to be taking your live phone calls, and we're going to do rapid fire here in our Hello? numero Am I on the air? Dos. Yes. Hello. I so, I want to go back English to Snoop D.O. Double Jizzle. Do you want to get the parent Jizzle. thing out of the way before we get back into fun and stuff? Let's, um, let's not, because then we'll be yeah, yeah, the you know what? Out, you you know, know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Um... <laughs> Pero Aguayo? Or Pero Aguayo Jr. That's how I understand it's said. I'm not. Alright. Pero I'm not Aguayo Jr., who um, is a big part of the Mexican wrestling yes. culture. His dad was a legend. He's considered dad a legend. Dad was a legend. Triple yeah. A, actually, we put it up on the website, had big plans for him. Actually, world title plans. What? Not necessarily yeah, meaning you're that. You're not speaking on education. He's already been a big star in Triple A. He's been a huge like, star he for years. Was their top heel, right? Like the the Bray Wyatt or the Brock Lesnar of Triple A. This was not a mid card guy no. in Triple A or no, in Mexico. Not at all. This was a major for name years. in Mexico. Yeah. So basically, what happened is um, it, it was a a, a Triple A. Uh, no, it was, a, it, was a, a it was it was Triple A, but it was a promotion in Mexico. A, a lot of these promotions. Kind of work with each other. Yeah. And oh, it was Triple A talent on a crash. Triple A, Triple A talent on a crash wrestling yes. event down right. in Mexico. Correct. So basically, it was Rey Mysterio, and you guys know him Manic. as Manic or Suicide. Yeah. T. Gray, uh, I think T. J. Was Perkins um, okay. in Ring of Honor. Um, for those of you guys that used to watch him there, but T. J. Perkins, Suicide, Manic, whatever yes. you want to, um, and Rey Mysterio T. against. Gray, oh no. Tigre Uno and Pero Agüe. Yes, a Junior. Uh, junior, right. Uh, they were in a match, and Rey Mysterio... I mean, listen, God, the so videos are I'm online. I'm feeling my stomach again. Yeah. Talking about. Rey Mysterio, um, you know, the video... Oh, there's a lot of videos online, a lot of footage that has been posted online. Very graphic and, and graphic footage, and... Rey Mysterio uh, basically hits a kick. Drop kick. A yeah. drop kick. Um, to what looked like the head, maybe the Basically, before area, the drop kick, shoot. he uh, went to set him off with the 619 on the ropes. He went to hit the ropes, but he was kind of too close, so he dived out of the ring. Right. Right. Immediately popped back in the ring, but already he was starting to be slow. And I'm getting in the description. I'm sorry. Like he, he gets up slow. and then the drop. I'll let you save the description stuff for when yeah. you break it down. But just real quick to break it down. Right. Out of the ring, back in the ring, up, drop kick on the ropes, and then that's that's it. Uh, it was real it quick was, for the, was, before you get to the breakdown. I don't even think we've said it yet. He died. He passed away. Passed away. Not in the ring, but I'm of the opinion that he was already dead. But anyways, he it was a very tragic accident. No, I'm of the opinion he was already dead. Yeah, they pronounced him dead at the hospital hours later. But I'm telling you right now that that man was lifeless before he left. I, I, when he was when he was up against the ropes, all right, and they continued the match for about another thirty seconds, very all right? briefly. Yeah, they immediately Conan, went on. Co- they immediately, immediately went to the finish. They yeah. knew something was wrong. Conan was on the outside, kind of, kind of shake him. And granted, Conan, I know a lot of people. He was knocked out. I know a lot of people are on him saying, "Why would you shake him so much?" Conan was probably just freaked out. Like he just thought he was unconscious. Something is wrong yeah. here. Now the doctors, who and a lot of people are on the doctors about why did it take so, so long? Stupid. Listen, the doctors, a lot of people were there yeah. right at the back. 
Not so only two that, two doctors, two ambulances. Two guys were injured earlier on in the show. Exactly. Were taken out on stretchers. One out of the two was taken out. That's on where a it stretcher. makes you think fate is a real thing. That's <coughs> right. A real thing. Two doctors, two ambulances, and there happened to be two injuries that kept two doctors preventing them from being right. there. That's fate. But as soon as as soon as they knew something was wrong, one of the doctors, one yeah. of the doctors, or uh, probably both, but I know at uh. least one of them came out, and they immediately put him on his back. They put something in his mouth. Now, at the point that they put an orange, it was this an orange thing with you, in man. his mouth. Yeah. He was breathing. He was breathing. I don't know if he was or not. I'm just. I thought you were gonna say you saw his lip moving. Shit. I think it was moving because, like, if you go like this. Yeah. See how my lip comes yeah, back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I think it, it was because they put the thing in his mouth, and yeah, it makes it look like he was moving his lips. But I think that was involuntary. I think. I think he was still alive at that point. Now, okay. granted. They had the stretchers that were backstage that had been used earlier. So the best thing they could have done, instead of picking they him up and carrying... They put him on a piece of plywood. It was a table, I thought. But it, was okay. piece, okay. piece, it was a piece of plywood, and they took him to the back. Granted... I heard table, but I haven't watched it because I'm too... Could have been a table. It could have been it a table. It hurts my heart to watch that but shit, so I watched just the one clip, and that was it. Nonetheless... It's better than picking him up and putting him in a, yeah. in a state. Especially something they wrong put him on a flat surface, carried him to the back. Backstage footage of him behind the scenes has leaked online. Yeah, I couldn't watch They've that. got doctors. They're administering CPR. They're trying to do everything that they can. You see Conan there, who is worried, sick. You see the look on his face. Thing. And then, listen, He's in, in Mexico, years, they did a very quick funeral. Some families request that the funeral be done the next day or two days after. The family requested, because he was such a popular wrestling star in Mexico, yeah. the funeral was streamed on major was networks So was Mexico. Michael Jackson's. So you can't be like, oh, they're trying to cash in on the Such track, a major star. So yesterday, tell you right here, we put up two photos on the website. You did. Of, I did. I didn't. Of, of Conan and Rey Mysterio. I said inside the post, some of you guys may not want to view this. The reason that I put up the photo... Can I... Real quick? Go ahead. He did what a... Ryan did what a reporter does. You cover... If somebody... Like, remember the beheading videos when the internet first started? Do you remember when someone dies? 9-11, for Christ's sakes, there was 20 different angles of it happening live. Right. You cover it as news because that's your job. Sometimes your job is not pleasant. Sometimes it's fucking sad as shit. There were, there but the job of a reporter is to give news to the public. The Otherwise, less. you would not have a newspaper... You would not have evening news. What you I would not have website. So he put a disclaimer and posted the news to the public, which is what a reporter. When does. I report stuff like the special, Olympics. you didn't put plugs in there, like you're trying to there's make money off any, of it. There's yeah. never any plugs at the bottom. Like you of advertise, death like yo, we've got pictures. Click here. On, no. on any death post, you will never see a ever. plug. I, I'll, any I will tragic, never anything. do it. Ever. There's not a plug. Never. Not a link to my website on another website. And you don't take that link and put it on other sites. Like, I'll click here to find out. Ever. Yeah, funeral pictures. On any death post, on any funeral post, on any... Any tragedy. There is never a plug. Never. One of my, I've never done it. I'll never do it. Never. That's a rule. It's a rule. And it's a rule law. That we could if we wanted to, but it's just self-respect. No, we're not going to make never money done it. Off, never know. done it. Never will do it. Not, a right, not the right thing to do. Completely no, wrong. Won't do it. And some sites the, did. The t you've seen some of the headlines. Some of the mainstream headlines. outlets that aren't in the wrestling business. Ray Mysterio, Ray Mysterio kills, kills wrestlers. Wrestler. That Scumbags. is pathetic. Fucking dickheads. That is pathetic yeah. to come up with a headline and put that so that you can. They know a, he's the name so people that you can get a Google yeah. hit from it. That is the most pathetic. I saw a headline that was out there that said Ray Mysterio kills Mexican wrestlers. Yeah. That is the most pathetic fucking headline. That I've ever seen in my life. It's it bad. It's ridiculous. So the fact that there you go, Rewinner's land. He's right. We put we put Ryan was very classy covering the story, not like other sites. We, Winner's layers right. We put the photos up yesterday, and the reason that we put the photos up is because the family had said that we will allow the funeral to be streamed. There's an entire video that I haven't put up of the entire funeral Michael online. Michael Jackson's funeral was streamed. But, but biggest star of the last 50 if years. the family allows the funeral to be streamed because he was such a People big love him. Mexican yes. star then I feel that 
I can put the videos or the photos online because the family allowed it to happen. Now, the family said, I don't want the funeral streamed. I don't want and photos. News. I don't want... And it's news. You're and a reporter. But Sometimes if the news family, sucks, but yeah. If the Cover. family said, I don't want this, I don't want it streamed, I don't want photos... You up, respect that. You respect that, and you don't put Fuck it up. Fuck yeah. The family streamed the funeral, which is why we put the photos up. I put a disclaimer before it that said these are so anybody that wants to click it knows you're about to see some sad, tragic shit. If you don't want to see it, don't fucking click it. And listen, and the last thing I want to talk about this, man, is the people that are blaming Rey Mysterio for this guy's death. Man. The fuck is wrong with you, man? The people, I it, it kills me all the time. It, He's it, already going to torture himself it bugs without me. that. It bugs the shit out of me, yeah. man, that people say, wrestling is fake. Wrestling is fake, yeah. right? Wrestling is is scripted, okay? Let to me, an extent. Let me take you the matches are and, not scripted. And, and powerbomb you on a ring that's yeah. sort of flexible. The girl, but not that much. when you wake up the next morning, tell me how uh, your body feels. Yeah. Tell me how your body feels after being slammed or power slammed on on Fucking on a mat, they chair shots to the head. Tell me, tell oh. me how even to this day. Tell me when somebody hits you on the back, not on your head, but on the back with a steel chair. Tell me how it feels when you go through a table. You got welts. All right, the next day, you got yeah. welts. You see guys getting stitched up all the time. Fuck! You saw a death in a wrestling I mean, ring. It's not like that's the first this past one. weekend. Yeah, wrestling is fake. Yeah. I, it's scripted, yeah, I'll give you that, where the outcomes are predetermined, but, and, and, and as far as peril is concerned, dude, yeah. that is, dude, accidents, one of the most freak things I've ever <laughs> accidents happen, man, freak accidents, yeah, that accidents, was, accidents happen, as I'm sitting here right now, and I've watched it like the Sapruder film, the, J, the JFK thing, the Sapruder film, the JFK thing, I still can't tell you what happened. Accidents happen, man. My Listen. initial thought when reading it before seeing the video was his throat hit the rope because we haven't right. pointed it to this out, but a lot of rings are constructed differently. Right. In this particular promotion and in most Mexican promotions, they use a cable cord. Right. And they cover it with like the covering of a hose. In Mexican. America, in WWE, right. they use hemp, they use rope, and they cover right. it with tape. Right. So the cord Mexican ropes are a lot more. They don't have as much give. They don't have as They're much very, give. yeah, it's it's dangerous. And and we're going to have to wait for the autopsy results to see if it was whiplash yeah. or yeah, real quick, for if the when his part, throat hit right. the, when his, if his, his throat if, didn't if, hit his, it. if his throat hit the ropes, he had the armpits on there. And does his, his windpipe, does, but it looked like the, the armpit went first. Yes. So was it the whiplash that when he uh, came back? Currently, that's what's being said. It was the whiplash, so it was, the, the actual reporting is that it was, uh, uh, cervical spine trauma. Okay. Right. Some, I I believe cervical so. spinal believe so. spine trauma was so basically yeah he his neck broke and then while he was unconscious his heart never started beating again. And that's an accident, man. That's that a can freak happen. Fucking thing. If that you watch the video, to you, anybody. You could watch that video a hundred times, and I've only watched it a few because I don't have a stomach for that shit. I, I, there are so many different scenarios yeah. of of what exactly happened yes. that. Resulted in the in the guy's it's passing. It's one of the. It's that's where a lot of people aren't religious. I am. I know you're not that religious, but you know, I am. And I think that was fate. That man's destiny was that. Whatever gets learned from this, right. whatever consequences or repercussions come from this, right? It was supposed to happen for a reason. Why I don't know. I'm not trying to push religion on people, but if you watch that video a hundred times. You'll have a hundred different things in your head, like how, how the do fuck you, did that how happen? How do you think it was a freak for the thing. for the people you know blaming Rey Mysterio? How do you think Rey Mysterio feels? He's today, the last guy to touch him today. How do you think poor Rey feels today? The guy is he's fucking, probably beating himself up and blaming himself. The guy himself. is fucking devastated, yeah. man. The guy is is probably like. Fuck! It's my fault. Like I was the last guy to kick him, and he didn't see it. And you for know, you, maybe, for, you know. for for some fans to go on Twitter and you see some of the tweets directed at Rey Mysterio and some of the things that people say, you know, you can write shit on the internet. Cervical spinal 
uh, trauma, yeah. You can, and you it was can, a stroke caused by that. I'm sorry, go ahead. You can write shit on the internet and act like a tough guy on Thank Twitter. Thank you, Ron G. Go ahead. God, I, I woke up this morning to a guy calling me a, a I don't, it was, it was the, it was, Ryan Clark's a douchebag, I hope he dies, or something like that, is a tweet that I got this morning. You can act like a fucking, a keyboard warrior, yeah. you know, behind, behind a computer screen, but think about Ray, man, and how that dude is feeling today. What's probably your blaming, issues? probably yeah. blaming himself. And listen, accidents happen, man. Man, that could happen to to Randy Orton. That could happen to to, to anybody. Happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. So it was an accident. What There's do you no think blame. of the manslaughter investigation? Let me ask you that. I, I Explain think. first, and then tell me your. There was a manslaughter investigation in Mexico that it may have been an act of Which is a formality they have to investigate. They've got to do that. I don't think it's going to... Uh, hopefully... I got the hiccups. Shit. Go let's ahead. hope that it doesn't come up as a, a criminal act um, in, in Mexico. Uh, but it, it's just... You know, I mean, listen. We're going to have to wait for the autopsy to come out. We're going to have to wait for this criminal investigation, which I think is completely, completely ridiculous, um, but we're going to have to wait for all this stuff to come out, and rest in peace to uh, Pero uh, and to all of his family and friends, it's just, it was an accident, it was a tragic, tragic accident, nothing more, nothing less, Rey Mysterio's not to blame, the doctors aren't to blame, uh, bringing him out on a piece of plywood or a table, it's not to blame, it was an accident, man, and th and that's that's all there is to it. So, <laughs> rest in peace to uh, Pero and uh, thoughts rest with uh, all his family and uh, and friends. Um, got a transition out of this somehow, man. So let's get back into uh, Where we leave off? Monday Night Raw. I want to go back to the Curtis Axel, Hulk Hogan, Snoop Dogg segment. Okay. So Snoop Dogg comes out on Raw, yeah. all right? And he says, it's great to be here at the Staples Center. It's great to be here in Los Angeles, California. My dogs, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Snoop now, Mania. Hogan's cue, Hogan's cue to come out. He says, and I'll tell you uh, what. Axel came out first. Uh, or Axel's cue. Yeah. He said, and I know you didn't hear it exactly. And you guys can back me up in the chat. I got. I you guys to can back it. me. I'm sorry. Y'all can back me up in the chat. Shit. Curtis Axel's cue I to come it. out on Raw last night with Snoop Dogg said something along the lines of, and I'll tell you what, that Andre the Giant Battle Royal at WrestleMania is going to be the Stone Cold. Axel's music hits. I need did to rewatch it because I did not catch that. Please back me up in the chat room. Did, did, did Curtis Axel not come out when he said that Andre the Giant Battle Royal at WrestleMania is going to be the Stone Cold and then Axel's music hit? So he didn't get to Am say wrong? anything after Stone Cold. He didn't say anything after Stone Cold. I got to rewatch it. As soon as he said I'm Stone Cold. I'm a bad radio guy because I should have rewatched it before I'm the show. Please back me up in the chat room. You should have fucking reminded me because please. now I'm pissed because I, I, I can't guarantee you because I do not know. But I do not remember hearing that. And I was busy with playing my play, so I very easily could have missed it. Please back me up. I do not remember hearing any Stone Cold, especially the last fucking words he said was Stone Cold. I know you guys. He said it's going to be Stone Cold, and I trust John Morgan. It's going to okay. be Stone Cold and All then right. Axel's music. Hit. I'm still not saying that's a confirmation. All right, John Morgan. Can I get more? Uh, John Morgan's more the only guy got. saying it so far, and I do trust John Morgan. So I will say Anybody that else it's chat. Anybody else in the chat, if you can come in, if you can somehow... If a player can confirm it, if a ride gal can confirm it, then I'll say I'm wrong. Please. I'm not disagreeing, by the way, so I won't say I'm wrong. But I do not remember hearing that. Please, y'all, back me up. But but anyway, so Axel comes out. John and Morgan's explaining it in a way that does sound true. All right. And I so, trust John Morgan. So Axel comes out, and he starts cutting that, I'm going to Axelmania, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Axelmania is yeah. going to be this whole thing. Hulk Hogan's music. Stephen Grabeig says it. All right. He must have said it. All right, right. So, all right. A lot of people are saying, "Okay, you're right." All right, cool. Thank you in the chat room, man, because I know you didn't hear. Where's Blair confirmed it? All right, all right, all right. I, I believe him. So, Rygal's yeah. checking now. Let me know, Rygal. I know I can trust <laughs> right. If he's gonna check and find out for sure, this dude says, "I just trust Rygal." No, I trust so, these guys. So you're here, right. here, here is my 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 feeling. Okay, so Axel hey, comes out. Real quick, I'm sorry. Okay. Vader Man eighty six said just watched it. He did. He definitely so said there a lot you of go. people said. All right. All right. 
So, so uh, uh, and Ranjit said yes. He did say Stone Cold just as Axel's music. Just is. so Axel well, it was comes the out. last thing. So Axel comes out, and we still don't agree with your list. opinion here. But, all right. So okay. here's where I'm going with this. Here's where I'm going with this. And y'all can disagree with me, agree with me in the chat. I, I, let me know. Let me know if you if y'all think I'm wrong. And I'm gonna get more yeah. into this. I'm gonna get more into this on Saturday, 4 go. p.m. Eastern time, right when we do the pre-show. All right. I'm not saying correct. All right. All right. So here's my feeling. So Axel comes out, he cuts his promo, the whole Axel Mania, I'm going to Axel Mania, blah, 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 blah. Eventually Hulk Hogan comes out, Axel rips his shirt, he goes to hit Hogan, Hogan blocks it, knocks him. Can I ask a question? And then Snoop and Hogan do Before the you get into your, do the, your thing. Because I know you got a whole thing you got right. you want to say. I want to ask Rygal, because he just rewatched it, and I trust Rygal. Okay. He just rewatched it. Now, Rygal, did he say it, and please call in when we open the phone lines up and really give me the uh, thing here. Kind of like re redo it for me, like do your impression of it. Did he say it in a way where he emphasized Stone Cold? He didn't. He didn't. Or was it like he was in the middle of a sentence? Stone Cold just happened to be the words, and then the music hit. Or did it seem like Stone Cold was the cue? Like no, once right. I say Stone Cold, music hits. The music hit right after Stone Cold. I'm not denying that. He said that. I'm he just said saying something that it along like he was of, supposed to say Stone Cold on purpose, said, and that was the thing. He or? said something along, he just happened along, to along the lines Cold. of. That Andre the Battle Battle Royal at WrestleMania is going to be Stone Cold. Axel's music hits. Okay. It was something like that. But he didn't, em- phone, he didn't emphasize Stone Cold. But he said uh, that match at WrestleMania is right. Gonna be, call in. That right. match is going to be Stone Cold, and then Axel's music. Yes. Hit. So wait a second, and then call in. It's low. So so Go ahead. here's my thoughts. So last year at WrestleMania, we had Hulk Hogan. Rock and uh, and Steve Austin, yes. right? Opening the show, <coughs> opening the show, and we've had Axel. We've had Axel week after week after week coming out here, cutting these promos. I'm going to WrestleMania. I'm doing this big thing. I'm WrestleMania is going to be my show. I can see it right now. Curtis Axel comes out at WrestleMania. He cuts a promo. He's oh. out there cutting a promo. I don't know who's coming out first, second, or third. And Rock just All did I, an interview. Yes. Rock just did an interview that basically very much teased. That's what you need. And to I've, been talking, yeah. I've been talking. I've been talking to somebody. Save that because Rock was going to call. I've been him talking to something. Still waiting for a phone call back. But yeah. Rock says that he is. Pretty much going to be at, at WrestleMania. Go ahead, take the phone. Go. I'm going to. I hope this is a rag. I'm not sure. I'm going to stop. Call her. You're on the air. What's going on? Hey, what's going on? It's Rago. All right, Rago. Do your best impersonation of how Snoop Dogg said it when the music hit. He just said something, something, something. Stone Cold and the music hit. It wasn't like Stone Cold delay then the music hit. Was Stone Cold obviously the cue for no, the music? Wasn't, Did he okay. emphasize no, Stone Cold, I, or was it I just? I don't see it as a cue, as more so than it just happened to be the last words that he happened to say. Was he in the middle the of a sentence, hit. or was he so definitely trying to get to where he says Stone Cold? What are your opinion? I mean, he's high as fuck, so it's hard. You know, it's hard to say. You know, to say, but. Uh, I don't think he intended to cut off at that point. If that's what you're asking, yes. I, I don't think he intended to be cut off at that point. Okay. All right. Thanks, Rago. All right. Can I finish you're up welcome. now? Good. I'm sorry if I just cut you off. I couldn't hear. Can that I finish up now? Baby crying. Yeah. Go so ahead. So if you're WWE's music producer or whatever, right? Yeah. And if you're Curtis Axel and your cue to go out is that match at WrestleMania 31 is going to be Stone Cold. What? Stone Cold Crazy. Stone, Stone Cold Crazy. But at that point, if you're WWE's music director or whatever, that's your cue. At that point, you're going to hit Curtis Axel. Whatever he says, that match at WrestleMania is going to be hit Curtis Axel's music and he comes out. That's what it seemed like to me. So, anyways, what I'm saying is, I can see it now. Curtis Axel's going to the be exact out there. quote if you want it. Chris Brown. I'm, I'm going to let you know it's going to be Stone Cold. It's going to be a Stone Cold. It's going to be a Stone Cold. A Stone Cold. And then fight. Curtis Axel's yeah. music hit. So that, to me, is when he says it's going to be a Stone Cold. All right, but get to your Axel's. opinion here. So my opinion, my opinion is, whatever is you call it. Yeah. last year we saw Hogan, Rock, and Austin at WrestleMania. Yes. Hogan, we know, is 
Hunter Cobb Hogan should be Hogan, there. Hogan's going to be there. And All right. I think Rock's gonna Rock be there. strongly teased it in his You want to get into that now? Or Chris that's going to take Blake. you off on a tangent. Go ahead. Get it. Uh, I don't want to take you off. Do your thing, and then we'll talk about it. Rock, Rock did an interview. Nah, just do Chris your thing, and then we'll talk. Because the Rock right. we got to talk about for right. a second, at least. I know we're so, running. So, so my thoughts is, Curtis Axel has been coming out week after week. He's going to WrestleMania. This is his WrestleMania. He's going to... I can see it. Curtis Axel comes out, cuts that same lame-ass promo that we've seen week after week. Curtis, I'm, Raz, I'm Axelmania. Hashtag Axelmania. All right? Change the channel. Bro. I don't know who's coming out first, yeah. but I can see Hogan coming out first. And then... Well, Hogan clearly is going to be doing something with that, because if you watch him on Sports Nation... All right. He kind of alluded to the fact that he was going to be doing something with All right. Mania. All right. So this Hogan. This is Jackie. You want to so uh, yeah, call back in a second, Jackie. Okay. So Hogan comes out and they're face to face, and then you get Rock comes out, and then you get Austin comes out. They're Somehow. Gonna do the same exact thing. I, I don't know. No, they're not going to do but the just same with exact. Axel. Axel's going to be in the ring. Uh, Rock's going to. It's going to be a fun moment. A fun moment on the show where Rock. Is gonna hit a rock bottom, a people's elbow. Austin's gonna hit the stunner. They're all gonna bury the shit out of Axel. Axel Mania, WrestleMania 30. It's a way or 31. It's a way to get Austin, Rock, and Hogan on WrestleMania 31. It's a way to get them all on there. It's a way to have a fun moment and basically job out a jobber. And Curtis Axel use the comedy it, figure for comedy. Use the comedy figure for comedy, yeah. but in the meantime, get Hogan, Rock, and Austin. Get that all WrestleMania, at WrestleMania moment. Get that WrestleMania moment. Right. Curtis Axel gets his moment. Hey, listen. And all right, I'm not agreeing with you, but all right, maybe I I can't see them doing something so and similar the, to last year yeah. with those three guys. That's what I said to you. I, did you? I, I okay. said to you, I said they can't do the same thing. No, no, no. I mean, it, just the same, the same thing in the sense that all three guys will be in the same segment. No matter how they yeah, construct I know, it with action, I, I can't see them. Oh, last year we had these that's, three, and it was a memorable. We're going to do the same thing, only we're going to have Axel in there, and they're all going to all beat him up. That's what worries me. I can't see the that. Same, it's almost the it's same too, thing. Yeah. Last year, all they it did was cut. It won't be special at all, because, yeah. yeah. Because we saw it last year. Exactly. But last year, all they did was cut a promo. This year, I can see him coming out. Destroying Curtis Axel, and the fact that Hogan was out there last night, the fact that they brought up Stone Cold, and maybe I'm looking. I think I, Hogan and Axel are going to do something. The Rock, we need to get into in a minute. Let's first talk to. Uh, maybe I'm looking too far into the Stone Cold you reference. Always do yes. last night. Maybe I'm maybe I'm doing that. That's now. a very subtle thing at best, if it was. Probably, <laughs> probably, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, wait, Although no. Snoop Dogg, if he was scripted and Stone Cold was in <coughs> the script, because you know they script their promo stuff. If that was in Snoop Dogg's script for his promo, right? That's pretty interesting because I, they would they would definitely steer clear of I, those two words. I mean, I know St- I know Snoop Dogg is a huge especially wrestling fan, especially on the fan. Go Home Show for me in a, California where Austin lives. I know I know Snoop's a huge wrestling. He fan. He looked like so a candy, candy store with Hogan so, doing so, all that. So the fact that yeah he did he looked so did. happy. Yeah. So the fact that Snoop Dogg brought up Stone Cold, it could just be because he's a big wrestling fan. I'm not saying, but. I think that there's something planned. Three legends, they all take out Curtis Axel. It's a fun moment on WrestleMania 31. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. Not we'll talk about, Sunday's we'll, not far away, man. We'll talk about What do you guys think of the chat? Let us know, man. Let, you think that is that a possibility or no chance in hell? Let me know in the chat room, wzronline.com slash chat. Jacqueline, you are live on WZR TV Tuesdays. And I'm guessing you want to talk about Rusev and Lana. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> What's going on, Jackie? Nothing much. I'm just watching my Red Wings. They're tied with the Coyotes right now. All right. Um. Okay. Last night, that was total badass with Rusev. I'm like, okay, first he defeats Swagger. He won't get him out of the act. Like, it's the only one that can make him release the act with his Lana. And I'm thinking, okay... I'm, I'm thinking, okay, if I was there, I would be like, let him go before he gets qualified. And Cena runs out. Like, Cena, are you crazy? You're going to get your head taken off. And that's exactly what happened. So I'm saying that Cena has a 50-50 chance of winning on Sunday because, hello, he's bruised up. Hello. No one knows what he, what he, how he was after SmackDown taping, if he was evaluated or not. So I'm saying... Lana's going to, okay, here's how I see it. Lana's going to distract Cena, probably throw something in his eyes, like most managers do, a 
to know if you who have gotten involved in matches. Hey, Jackie. Jackie. Brett Yokozuna. Yes. Jackie, did you see my report today that Lana is expected to be at WrestleMania 31? Did you see that? Yes, I did. And I also heard it on a few other websites because I was checking the website when I was out with my friend. And I'm like, okay, thank God she's going to be there. So let's see what happens. Is she visiting now, other I websites? Heard about, I heard about Brock resigning. And, okay, Roman's going to kick his butt. Uh -huh. My money's on Reigns winning the title. You're going with Reigns, huh? Reigns over Lesnar? Let's just say that Brock is not one of my favorite people for what he did to Triple H during a couple of years back. Yeah. And that manager of his. Yeah. And I'm going with I'm going with AJ and Paige in versus against the Bell Twins. Are you going to uh, uh, Jackie? Are you going to be here on Saturday? Because we're going to be here at uh, at four o'clock Eastern time on Saturday. That's when we're doing predictions. We're going to do an entire show on Saturday. It's going to be about a half hour or an hour long. We're going to be taking live phone calls. So if you want to write down your predictions and call us back on Saturday, we can go through uh, write down all your predictions and call us back on Saturday, four o'clock. Okay, I, I will okay, right. I will be home by four because I got bowling in the morning. Then we gotta run over to my grandma's real quick and pick up her mail. All right. And I should all be right, back right. I should be back on my side of town about four o'clock. All I right. Tell my mom I gotta be back by four. All right. Well give us a call on Saturday. We're gonna talk to you at Saturday, four o'clock Eastern time, all right? All right, bye bye guys. All right, be good, Jackie. Have a good week. Always, bye boys. All right, later. Alright, if you guys want to call us up, it's 518-712. We love our Jackie. Missed a lot of calls on 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. If you guys don't get through the first time, just keep calling back. We've only got, got one, 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 yeah. uh, one open phone line. So just give us a call back and uh, we'll try to get to each and every one of you guys tonight. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind this week? Uh, hey guys, it's Stevie Grabeck in the chat room. Hey Stevie, what's up man? What's up man? What's up, guys? Hey, um, I just got, I wanted to get your comment on something. Um, I think it's just ridiculous that um, Lana is not going to be at WrestleMania because she's shooting that movie or whatever. I just I'm just wondering, like, who the fuck is booking this shit? Honestly, she's so important <laughs> to Rusev's character and all that. And and we get that stupid fucking lawyer last week who who like honestly I could do a better better Russian accent. I've I've never even been to Russia. Before. Well, let's hear it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to. I'm sorry. Keep going. <laughs> I can't do it, man. <laughs> yeah. It's just, man, I just, you know, it's really ridiculous. I mean, like, she's so important. You get people chanting, we want Lana, we want Lana, and she's not even there because she's shooting a movie that probably five people are going to see on DVD, <laughs> you know. I so, think uh, as, you know. as far as as far as the recent advertising is confer confirmed or as concerned, uh, Lana is being advertised for WrestleMania. But you know how that stuff works, man. Where they advertise somebody and then it changes at the uh, the last minute. But as of right now, you don't think uh, she'll be involved in the finish? I think she may be involved in she'll the finish. Absolutely be involved. I think she'll be Thank at God, WrestleMania. Man. Yeah, I mean we'll have, we'll, we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens with her, but. I think she's gonna be there, man. I think. Um, we'll have more on that throughout the uh, throughout the week. Thanks for the call, man. Have a good week. Uh, caller, you are live on WZR TV. What's up? This is the Irene Sheik, you know, good motherfucking. That's not right. bad, brother. That's that not bad, good. man. That was all right. All right. That was all right. All right. We wrapped up our fucking Stevie boy for that shit. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, the the rest know, of the rock, the main event. Let's talk about the main uh, event. Dude, you don't want to get into the rock thing real quick? <coughs> what do you want to talk about? The video thing. Yeah, there was a video. This is one where if you want to tell your opinion of what you saw, what you thought, waiting, I completely agree with you on this one. I'm waiting for a phone call back. I know. Uh, from somebody I know, on, but this your Rock, opinion but part. It looks like The Rock is going to be at WrestleMania 31. Now, a lot of people say he's going to be in New York City all week long. Well, no, he's got definitely be there all week long. But he's will got, he be leaving? On, he's, yeah. He's, he's got to do rehearsals for Saturday Night, long, or Saturday Night Live all week long. Um, and, and what's then, really interesting is that WWE is overly promoting the fact that he's going to be on Saturday Night Live. Almost like a, right, right. he's not going to be he's here, and be then there. when he is, oh shit! Well, let me tell you, you know. something. Saturday Night Live goes off the air at 1 a.m. in the morning. Rock goes back to his hotel. Let's say he goes back to his hotel, 
get some sleep. The next morning, he wakes up at 8, 9 a.m., even earlier than that. On the East Coast. He takes a private jet on the okay. East Coast. So if it's 8 a.m. on the East Coast, it's only 5 a.m. So the three hours will take him to get there <laughs> so will not even exist. It's yeah. not even going to exist. So the fact is, the guy jumps on a private jet, and he's in Los Angeles at 8 a.m. If he leaves New York City at 8 a.m. Yes. on Sunday morning, he's in Los Angeles at 8 a.m. As long as it's a private jet. On Sunday yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. If you're on a commercial flight, so, it's six, seven hours. But. That that doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So, And then he did an interview with Chris Van Vliet. Yes. Hold on one second, caller. He did an interview with Chris Van Vliet. Uh, and Chris emailed me, by the way. I am. Huge fan of the website since 2001, by the way. But anyway, um, basically, he had thought that when he interviewed The Rock, and, and well, I mean... He brought up a question about the. Go ahead. I know, no, no. I was gonna say, get go, go for it. Go ahead. He brought get up a to question. Where you're going. Yeah, yeah. The call. I told the caller. To no, hold no, on. not the call. Where the, you were going the, with the, that statement? The, 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 he basically asked the rock. I agree All right. You so you're gonna be on SNL on Saturday night. Is yeah. there a possibility? No, What's the deal? Here's the question. He said, right. "Where are you gonna be on Sunday? Where are you gonna be on Sunday?" And then the rock said, "And rock said, don't you worry about it. None of your business, <laughs> or none of your business." Yeah. With a big smirk. Big on old his face. smirk. And before that even happened, <laughs> there was some smirks from the rock when, when, as soon as wrestling was brought up, and, and I can't even remember the specifics, but there was a lot of little. If you know the rock's mannerisms, right, right, it was right, kind of right. like. He knows something we don't know. <laughs> he knows something. And then and when the direct question it. was asked, where are you going to be on Sunday? None of your business. Smiling, blah, 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 blah. And then they got into the Brock Lesnar rumors next year at WrestleMania 32, and now we know Brock has re-signed. Brock has re-signed, so can we have Brock versus Rock 2 at that WrestleMania 32? That was rumored 32? two years. I remember in a, right. being in a hotel right. in Tampa talking to you when I was doing it on the phone, yeah. and there were rumors of Brock Rock for Mania. It was either this year or last year. I think it was last year for right. 30, and... It was rumored then. Rock only wants to come back for big things. He's not going to come back unless it's something big. Something big, right. And he even alluded to that. Not alluded, he directly said on the interview, uh, the idea of breaking the all-time attendance record and right. next year is in the Cowboy Stadium, Cowboy Stadium where they can easily break the all-time indoor, or in, all-time attendance record. Absolutely. It really seems like there's a lot of stuff there <laughs> to where, A, I think he's at WrestleMania this Sunday. Right. B, I would not be surprised if, now, it depends on his movie schedule. Because he might get a big offer to do the Godfather Godfather Part 4. Right, or Goodfellas right, right, Part 2. Right, right. Or, in your case, uh, Full Metal They're Jacket Part 2. They're not going to start two. filming that this week. I'm just I mean, saying. Come on, man. If they give him an offer that he's not expecting that's for a huge thing, he takes that over Mania next year. Uh, but, all right. There, so that's that next year. But standing, if you were, yeah, not let's, 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 let's go back to WrestleMania 31, where when Chris Van Fleet asked that question, about The Rock, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing on Sunday after Saturday Night Live? Yeah. And the way he reacted to that question, that not was, only that, uh, but like I said, yeah. I'm waiting for a phone call back from somebody, you know who it is, yes. but I'm waiting. Um, that could but be our answer right there. It, that could be the answer, and that's the reason the article hasn't caught up on the WZRonline.com, he'll let you know as soon it's, as he It'll be up there as soon as I know for a fact, but it looks like The Rock's going to be at WrestleMania 31, and like I said earlier... It's going to involve Curtis Axel, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Calling you live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hey, Ryan and Matt. What's going on, guys? What's How up, you buddy? doing, man? Hey, great show tonight, too. Hey, um, two quick things. Um, with Brock re-signing now, do you think that that could in any way change now what the outcome could be at WrestleMania? Absolutely. To where if they thought he was going to leave, that maybe they would have taken the title off of him, but now that he re-signed, that there could be a possibility that he might retain the title. I I actually, is that, did you have anything else? Because we got a lot of phone calls coming in right now. Oh, yeah. And then, um, are you surprised that, that they didn't do the Miz and Miz and Miz Dow for WrestleMania either? They never went anywhere with that. That's another great question. All right. No, let, me, let me bring up one other thing before you answer the question. Right. Goldust said today that he was disappointed that he didn't get to face uh, Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 31, yeah, which was the original yeah, yeah, yeah. plan, or Stardust, uh, which was the original plan, but he was disappointed in that too. So. As far as the Lesnar, will he retain now that he's re-signing, I, I'm starting to think the opposite. I don't think WWE would have had him publicly announce the fact that he's re-signing unless they want everybody to think, oh, he re-signs, that means he doesn't lose. Sure. He's this killer, he takes the Undertaker's defeated streak, the next year he's at Mania in the main event with the title... Now that he knows, now that we know, all know he's staying. Well, he's not losing because he's the unbeatable killer. He squashes Cena at SummerSlam, all this and that, and then 
They announced the week of WrestleMania. He's staying. They would not have gone out of the way to announce that unless they want to surprise everybody. Let me cut you off. With Heyman turning heel, or turning heel, turn. Yeah, turning yeah, yeah, yeah. on Lesnar. You ruined it. Helping Ray. All right, go ahead. No, you're right. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say something, and then you brought up the Paul Heyman heel turn, yeah. and I said. Well, there's My two scenarios. Either he, either Heyman turns on Lesnar, helps yeah. Reigns win. Reigns yeah. goes heel because the fans don't like him as it is, so they right. go with it. Right. You want to boo him? Now you got a reason to boo him. Right. Either that, or they pull a complete shocker and Rollins cashes in, no matter what oh, happens gosh. with the outcome. Yeah, that too. Well, <laughs> I was I was gonna say to you that all right, Brock Lesnar resigns, so they want everybody to believe that Lesnar's not losing. Yes. He's resigned. Reigns is definitely, you know, he, he's losing, he's not winning the title. Yes. But then you brought up the Paul Heyman heel turn. Not a heel, t- yeah, well, he's already heel. But no, it, he's already it, a it heel. Would basically, but it would be a Reigns heel turn, Lesnar baby face. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Heyman stays the Le- same, he's just with be, a different guy. It would be a Lesnar baby face yeah. turn. And then as much Paul, as you want to think Heyman's a baby then, face right now, he's not. He's not, he's no. not. But you and I, <laughs> we yes. watch Ro- we, but he's a baby face to us. Yo, yeah. Paul Heyman with Roman Reigns. I and guess what? It. What I is Roman Reigns' biggest weakness? Talking. And what's Heyman's biggest strength? Talking. Thank you. <laughs> so it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. sense. And how much do the fans want to see ah. Roman Reigns right now? And then do a program. So badly. Do a program. How have, much do they want to cheer Ro- Lesnar listen, right now? So have, badly. Have Roman Reigns, listen, have Roman Reigns become your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. All right? I'm listening. Pair him with Paul Heyman. Yeah. Have Paul Heyman be his mouthpiece. Okay. All right? So you got Heyman and Reigns. And then do a program with Rollins and Lesnar, who would be a baby face if Heyman turns heel. Yes. So do Rollins versus Lesnar. Lesnar is a baby face. Rollins is a heel. Yes. Go that route. Call her your live on WCR TV. What's up? You're live. Seven one eight. Oh, are you there? Hey, how's it going, guys? I got a, a, a two part question. Sure. What's up, man? Rollins cashes. How's it going, guys? Uh, Lesnar retains, and Rollins cashes in. Lesnar retains, and, and Rollins, then cashes Rollins cashes in. That's what I said. They could do yeah. that wild card thing. All okay, right. Okay. Now, now, what are the chances we see this year? A match set up for next year where you see Sting and Undertaker backstage, face to face. I like it. I like Sting it. Sting and Undertaker. Sting and the Undertaker. That, I mean, that's what everybody backstage. I think if they were to do something like that, <coughs> even if it's a quick five second, or hey, how's it going? The people will go crazy in that arena. The, the only I agree. the only problem I've got with that is I don't see. I could see Sting being shown on camera before. His, I can't see them showing Undertaker before the entrance. But I think mean, Undertaker. No, 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 I'm talking about like maybe after. This will be after the fact. After the fact, I can't see that. Either. I can't see Taker doing anything but doing his crazy, I, awesome entrance, doing the match, raising the hand to the heavens, and then that's the end of your Taker for tonight or the night. I can't see them like but I w- showing him backstage because Taker would then just be another guy in the locker room. You know what I mean? I can't. I, see I don't them know. Doing. They got to. I, yeah. I I do agree with the uh, with the caller where even, I like the idea. Even, I just don't even see if it. they did that, a I very think that will be that will be a classic. Moment. It would yeah. be an absolute yeah. classic. Even, even if they did you know, a had very his match against Triple H, that match is done. Taker had his match. It's done. Now we're setting up, you know, Reigns and Lesnar. Before that even gets kicked off, they bump into each other backstage. If somebody you know saw a little clip, now you're getting amped up. All right, thanks for the call, buddy. I appreciate it, man. If you guys want to call us, it's 518-712-3070. I wasn't getting a word oh, out sorry. on that one, oh, man. Oh, I, I wasn't know. getting a word out with that guy. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's up? Yeah, yeah something the last caller was saying about uh, Sting versus Sting and Undertaker. Uh, Sting and the Undertaker? Uh, yeah, the last that, caller was that, talking about Sting and Undertaker. Uh, interac- yeah. Interaction between the two. I'm thinking maybe the first interaction between the two Maybe maybe Sting leads the Survivor Series team. Gets the Undertaker on his team. Maybe maybe, maybe I'll try I'll try to I'll try I'll try I'll try to make my point to this, this caller. Guy, okay. Basically, what I was trying to tell the last caller is even if they did 
a very subtle tease for The Undertaker versus Sting, even if it was after the Bray Wyatt Undertaker match at WrestleMania. Just a very okay. subtle tease, a backstage segment, something like that. <coughs> a subtle tease to set something up <laughs> or tease it for next year. That's, yeah, that's yeah, my whole point. Tease right. it for next year. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. So you agree with them then yeah. that they, they might do that? Just do a very subtle tease. Are you saying and you like that idea or you're expecting like that, that idea? No, I'm, I'm not expecting it, okay. but to do a subtle tease to kind of I said I like that say, idea. Say, I can't see them showing Taker out of the atmosphere of in the arena, in the ring, on the Bray Wyatt, team. that's it. Yeah, I can't see him being just another guy in the locker room and the cameras happen to catch up with Undertaker agree, backstage. He's supposed to be this guy that just appears... From the smoke on the on the on the I stage, agree. they I don't agree. show him backstage like with a towel over his neck. I agree. Like, oh, what a tough match. Oh, what's that, Sting? What are you saying to me? Right. Next Something year, like it's that. me. You know, even that's being obviously joking right now. But right. I just can't right. see them t- showing that imagery of Taker just sitting backstage. I can't see that. Wow. All right. Thanks for the call, man. No, it I, is. I didn't think right. he got to his thing. Oh, there. my bad. Anything else, man? Well, he. That's it. Oh, no. All right. So listen. Are we done with calls? It is 10 o'clock Eastern time right now. All right. I'm going to turn the phone lines off. Please. And then you, let's do some rapid fire here. We've got to do rapid fire. We finished Raw? Did we get through all the, uh, we the did. tug of war? We didn't. We've got to talk about the tug of war. Go ahead. Run down the tug of war. Uh, I don't really have a lot to run down. I just think it was the dumbest fucking go home angle for a main event of WrestleMania. I don't know in history I have to really go back and think about things, but that was very it was almost like a little two little kid No that's mine. No it's mine. No it's mine. Boom. Camera goes black. Like the Sopranos series finale. Like the guys are in the the, the whole family's in it the restaurant. Ridiculous. We're waiting to see if he gets whacked or what's gonna happen is he gonna go to jail. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Boom camera goes black. Camera fades. We to go black. dead silent, dead picture, nothingness. Right. That's kinda what I felt about that. You guys are gonna get one rapid fire question a piece tonight. All this right. is ten o'clock. Is there a lot of repeats? Time. Yeah, there's a couple people that ask multiple questions. All By right. the way, if we don't get to you tonight, all right, we're coming back here Saturday. on Saturday. What at time? Four o'clock. There you go. Four PM Eastern time. So if we don't get to your rapid fire question tonight, come back Saturday, four o'clock Eastern time. Submit them again. We're going to do rapid fire. We'll go longer than an hour on Saturday. There's nothing that we gotta that we gotta do on no. Saturday except well, for the something big will happen. Anthony Remy that, is Goldust yes. retiring? He says no on Twitter. He's talking about it, but or he's teasing. About it. <laughs> yeah, I burn my it. computer. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Brown did not follow our uh, our our, our, our Central T. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, okay. I know what you're going to say. Assuming Bray Wyatt beats Undertaker, do you see them sticking Bray in a mid-card feud again? Or will he get a main event feud that actually means something? By the way, other sites are claiming Lesnar is getting a three-year part-time deal with WWE. Uh, so the question would be, will Bray go to back to a mid-card nothingness feud after Taker at Mania? I think Bray... I mean... Does he, first of all, I know we're doing predictions on Saturday. Does he win or lose? Because that kind of ma- matters here. If he beats Taker, he's got to go to something big. I don't want to say. If he right loses, now. give me give me five. So all right, ignore the win or lose. What do you think happens with him next? Does he go to something big or, or normal? Who's he going to go against? I don't want to name. Just we we got to save this shit for. The, but does he go to something big like a big program, or does he go to something that's there's not second many. third down on the card on the second next third paper? down? There's not many main eventers, man. I I, I don't know. Dean Ambrose, they've already done that. I think he's going to go to something that'll be cool. I don't think it'll be main event at all. He cut a great promo on Raw last night. Yeah, that was one of the first times his <coughs> promo was like, wow, that was cool. Matt Johnson he going... to stutter a lot in the early part of it, though, if you caught it. Yeah. Uh, Matt Johnson going to my fourth WrestleMania this Sunday. Have fun, brother. Uh, very excited for the matches as well. Uh, with it being on the West Coast, do Taker, Wyatt, and Sting made entrances during the day or night? Undertaker's going to be uh, at building, night. That's an open building, right? It's an open building. So the early matches are going to be in the daytime. And then not only that, the show goes off the air at 11 o'clock Eastern time. That's only 8 o'clock Pacific time. So yeah, it'll only, be dark. only the last <coughs> couple of matches, well, daylight savings time, the sun doesn't set now. It'll until be dark. 6, 30, 7, I remember WrestleMania 3, the first half of the show was bright, awesome, and then when you got the Hogan Andre, unless they put a cover up, which I don't think they did, it was, it also, was dark as shit. It was also like April 5th, April 6th, then and it was in Detroit, though. 
And daylight, daylight East Coast. What yeah, daylight East savings Coast. time? And daylight savings time. Daylight savings time is the same every year, right? No. It's very same early. around at the same time. Around the same time, but it's very early this year, and WrestleMania is very early okay, this year. Okay, but that's the day the clocks change. The sun doesn't just automatically go from dark to light fucking overnight, Dude, does it? If you, if you set the clock forward, yeah. the sun is going to set an hour faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but <laughs> that's my point. So it's around the same time every year. Yeah, but this year, this year, due to the fact that daylight saving time setting an hour ahead yes. was very early in March this year. Normally, it's in in April. Is it that far away? It's it's uh, it's very early this I'll week. I'll figure it'll be like a couple and days. And WrestleMania, WrestleMania year. is very early this year, March twenty seventh or 29th? 29th. 29th. WrestleMania is normally April second, April third, April fifth. Uh, it's not in March. Once done. Couple of times. Couple of times, yeah, yeah, but or the very beginning of April. All right, anyway, it's good. Um, Lance. I'll take this next one. Uh, Lance, 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 Boone, think the word was in perpetuity. Although mm. I think it wasn't. I don't even know what that means, man. No, wasn't it? Uh, Stephen Grebeck, with Lesnar re signing with WWE, do you think the crowd will get Fuck, even more I was behind off that him now back on. main event Shit. at WrestleMania? Do they get more behind him? I'm on the I word. What was the question? Does the crowd get more behind WrestleMania now, or Brock Lesnar now, the Brock Lesnar yes. has resigned? Well, and the, the fact, like we said last week, or the week before, the fact that it's Reigns, who they viscerally hate because of Daniel Bryan and all that, and the fact that WWE's right. forcibly pushing him down there, and the fact that it's Lesnar. Now, we said the wild card was, if everybody knows Lesnar isn't re-signing, like Goldberg Lesnar at WrestleMania 20, they boo them both, right. and it's guttural hatred. Right. I think now that they know he's re-signing and they hate Reigns, at least the smart marks, Cheering it'll be more. complete shit for Reigns and complete Cheering. hit him Lesnar for Lesnar. Cheer him even more. Or they just chant Daniel Bryan's shit throughout the whole match. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brandon Brown, will Brock sign a new deal, or with Brock sign, sign a new deal? With Brock signing a new deal, do you think this changes plans for WrestleMania with Reigns or Seth Cash again? We already covered that, go ahead. Uh, David Adley, bold prediction time for you guys to Seth Rollins cash in. We'll talk about that on I Sunday, man, or that Saturday, man. Anthony Remy, excited for WrestleMania 31, Ryan Clark in my room. No. Going to talk about it on, uh, on Sunday, man. Am I excited? Man. Kind of, but that also means a lot of play-by-play -play for me, so. <laughs> Take another rapid fire. Jason Hansen says, I read a report today saying... Reem, uh, Alistar Overstream, wants to take time off, laughing my ass off. Does that confirm what we initially discussed last week? Alistar Overstream fears JDS Jr. Dos Santos. Um, if that's true, then I think that is bad sign that he doesn't want to fight the dude. Uh, Hanson also says, by the way, real quick before we get to Jacob, how do you think Dana White feels now that his biggest box office draw is closed, the MMA UFC chapter, meaning Brock Lesnar signing with WWE? Uh, I don't think he gives a shit that much. I mean, he's bummed out, but it's not like, oh, fuck, what do I do now? What's up, buddy? Hey, there he is. Look at this guy. Look at the biggest smile. Look at this guy. He sees himself up Who's there. Who's that guy? He sees himself. Who's that guy? He's on the radio show. You got the tears, buddy. <laughs> you got to look good for the camera. Look good, baby. Look good, buddy. You're looking good tonight. All right, where we leave off, man? We had, uh... It was, uh, uh right there. <coughs> all right, uh, we had Wesley Goodman. Do you see Lesnar retaining at Mania? Talk about that on Saturday, 4 o'clock Eastern time. Well, real quick, who's his next feud, they ask? What do you think of that? Talk about that again Saturday on Saturday. Bam <laughs> Brown! Who do you guys see as a potential opponent for Brock? Same thing. Talk about what ahead. happens after WrestleMania Saturday, baby, four o'clock Eastern time. Mm, that smells dinner out there. Oh, it smells good, Ooh, don't it? It yeah. smells good. Uh, what do we have next? We got David Adley. What are your thoughts on people blaming? Talked about that earlier. Ray Mysterio or anybody. anybody? Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. Robert, Robert Nelson. What happened to the Stardust versus Goldust feud? That would have killed it on Mania. He Goldust said on too. Twitter, man, he said he's disappointed that he couldn't uh, face. Are Stardust. you disappointed? I kind of, you know... Stardust has no business in that ladder match. But for the last two years, they've been hyping a Goldust, Cody Rhodes, so we don't brother, get our brother. We don't get, we don't get our payoff. Goldust ain't staying two around long enough. And Stardust does not organically fit in that ladder match. It was almost like they did him a favor. Well, we had it at the last pay-per-view. We had Goldust and Stardust, right? Yeah, but they didn't do the big mania thing. I know. It should be brother versus brother it's, WrestleMania, yeah. man. You know? Not that it matters anymore. Nobody cares about it anymore. Yeah, well, Anthony Ramey says... The little the little Caesar's bacon wrap pizza looks very good. Would love to try it out. 
but I don't have a Little Caesars around my town, so I might make one from scratch. I don't think we have Little Caesars here Everybody's either, Everybody's got one close enough. Yeah. Do we have Little Caesars I here? I think we do. I do think we? we've ordered there from here, because I don't like their pizza. I don't Vincent like the way their New cheese tastes. I don't like Domino's. I love Domino's. Do you? I know a lot of people that don't. I don't like Domino's, man. I like the cheap... I'm Probably because I grew up with it. I just... Vincent Nugent, what do you guys think about the elaborated entrances that certain talents will get it uh, will have at WrestleMania 31? Looking, Looking forward, forward to it. Uh, they do it every year. With well, Triple H, we Triple H always gets one. We mentioned, the, we mentioned the Rusev marching Russian soldiers. We mentioned the Sting Scarecrow shit. And now we know Triple H is going to have imagery from the new Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Yes. As part of his. Variety. So, at least those three guys will have big ones. Triple H, Sting. If Rusev has one, you know Cena's getting one. So at least those two matches. Right. Undertaker's always going to have one. So Bray Wyatt will have one. Uh, and then if those all those guys are going to have it, Reigns and Lesnar have to, too. Cena's going to have one. Uh, did you already yes. mention Cena? Okay. Well, yeah. If Rusev right. has one, Cena's got to have one. All right. Uh, David Hadley, I believe is that where we left off? Yeah. yeah. David Hadley says, do you think there is hope for WWE to clean up the mess they made with the Ascension? No. Too late. Yeah, the Ascension's been checked out. We didn't see him on Raw last the night. The perception of the fans is they are nobody, so you really have to do a yeah. lot of fixing up if you want to make them somebody. Ryan Shaftar, do you think anyone will return slash debut on Raw the night after WrestleMania? We are going to have that NXT tournament Return, at debut the night after WrestleMania on Raw. Return? That NXT debut. tournament at Access. One of the NXT guys is going to be the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Yeah, but that's not so Raw the next night. They are going to have NXT, NXT talents. Because like, right basically what they're saying is, remember how Brock came out of nowhere the night after Mania for right, Raw? Right. Kicks right. in his hat and all that shit. Have somebody kind of... I don't see that happening. Yeah. Uh, I, personally, but maybe yeah. it will. Who got next, man? I don't know. Joseph Gallo says, So sad about the wrestler that died. Will Ray and Conan be at Wally Mania? Yeah, that's still scheduled. They are He's still scheduled. He's called Wally Way. <laughs> he spelled Wally like whale, which is what I used to think when I saw it. Yeah. Ray Mysterio still got a, uh, his little hand scratching a Q&A his little hand. session for, uh, for Wally Mania. <laughs> <coughs> David Hadley, would you like to see WWE but reunite the Wyatt family next week on Raw? I'd love to see the Wyatt family back. And not only that, Roman Reigns came no. out in an interview today and said that at WrestleMania 32, it should be the Shield in a triple threat match against each other. The Shield should come back, the three of them, in a match, WrestleMania 32 main event. What do we got next? Joseph Gallo? Yep. Thoughts on the Mitsuharu Masawa accident? Uh, he's saying that because of what happened to Paraguay. Basically, uh, now see, I'm getting confused because there's, and I should know this, Masawa. I believed he was paralyzed in the ring, but I think he was the other one that died in the ring. Right. It was a Japanese legend that died. I think he died in the ring. Maybe he was paralyzed with a, with a neck break. Uh, Is that what it was? I'm not that big on foreign wrestling, but one of those two things happened. Thoughts? Same as uh, Paro. It's a tragedy, and it sucks when that shit happens. All right, we're doing uh, one apiece. If you guys don't get it tonight, we're uh, Matt Johnson. Matt Johnson says, boom. Do you think Ryan at oftentimes takes a theory and runs with it? Yeah, that we've got a whole running joke about that. Uh, he said, last night he said, mark, quote, mark my words, Austin is coming out to stun Axel, end quote. Turns out it was Hogan, but then he said, Austin Rock and Hogan will beat down Axel at Mania. Do you see it happening? No, he was talking about uh, Stone Cold stunning Axel at Mania. I heard him say that. I never said Austin was coming out at Raw last night. No. I said that was all happening at WrestleMania, man. Mark my words. Hashtag mark my words. All right. Um, we'll take one more from you, Vincent. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you got to wait, buddy. <laughs> all right. Where's Mark? Uh, we had, uh, we're almost done here, man. Uh, Vincent Nugent, what do you guys think about the latest re-signings and renewals from certain TNA male and female talents in the month of March 2015 so far? Um, this is not good, man. He's going <laughs> to... What? He could type this keyboard. It doesn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't do anything? Yeah, no. It's oh, not plugged all right. Up. What do you think about uh, Bobby <coughs> Lashley... Uh, he re-signed with TNA, he re-signed with Bellator, and they were both long-term deals. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Is that uh, the question? That was the question. Okay. What do you think about the new deals? Where are we at? Um, Ali Adair says, look, man, it's been three months and you still... Oh, whew, you can read that one. That's your business, and not you mine. And you still never sent me my shirt, my shirt which I paid extra for postage in the UK. Aside from that, listen, Ali Adair... Have I Did gotten email an email? I got an email. I, I got an email from somebody that about a shirt. 
and I think it's a surprise for somebody else. Oh. So I don't want to mention. Oh, it I saw you cover yourself on up air. Right yeah, 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 yeah. It's a surprise. And you stood it's up. surprise yeah. for somebody. I think they're. Uh, Captain, all right. Wait, that was not it. It was yes. one of the other guys. Email me tonight, dude, because I sent a shirt out yesterday to somebody that had it. You know what? That There's a chance it. it's my fault. I went to PayPal the other day. You know I got the long and two because that's how. No, I saw the dispute. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. I know. But I hit okay that's on it, so maybe you didn't see it is what I thought. A t-shirt went out yesterday to somebody that oh, emailed me I, about stupid. it. Stupid. I saw you do that, too. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one out in the mail. If you're not it, then send me an email, and I'll get it out. What's your one email went out address? yesterday. Webmaster at ProWrestlingScoops.com. Take out Lewis one. Dave or Dov. Dov? How do you say that? D-A-W-E. Lewis Daw. 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 Okay, Lewis Daw says... Will John Cena ever equal beat Ric Flair's 16-time record, or has he held his last title because Triple H loves Flair? Also, Rollins walks out of Mania champion, is his prediction. Uh, Cena absolutely breaks that record, because he's going to win the title at least one more time, and that's all he needs. So, uh, And does Rollins walk out of Mania champion? Like I said, I could see the cash in Saturday, house. four o'clock. All right, no. right. Go ahead. No, you're right. I already said it anyway. Go ahead. Plug it. <laughs> no, Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern time, okay. wzronline.com slash chat. You ready? We'll be back for our prediction show. You ready? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm reading this. Are you ready? Other cool Are you ready? Ones. Oh, no. Oh. Please don't break my oh. keyboard. Want to give me? I got to use that Somebody for Somebody can see the bro. video and say, he's, he's beating his kid. He's using his minor. Get me. Get him, Jake. Get him, Jake. Get him, Jake. No, no. He just no. wants to tight. Let him tight. Hit this key. There you That's go. That's my boy Good right job. here. Good job. You want to beat me? All right. Oh. 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 While he's oh. doing that over there, we want your feedback for tonight's show. Facebook.com slash. Put down. Slash. Ryan Clark WZR. <laughs> That's Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Let them know what you thought there. If you want to let me know what you thought, I know I haven't been going on Facebook a lot, but I will this week for Mania. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you liked. We'll do more of it. Let us know what you didn't like. We'll do less of it. That's how we give you the show you guys want to see and hear every mother effing censored Tuesday night, 8 to 10 p.m. Hey, we are going to back be back here this Saturday. Saturday, this Saturday. 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Say All four, your rapid like fire this. questions tonight. I know no. a lot of you guys. To the camera. No. I know a lot of you guys no. were asking. No. Like this. See, you can't no. see me. No, you don't. Don't tell them you can't see me. Tell them you can't see me. No. Listen, don't I know a lot of you guys me. asked about uh, about WrestleMania tonight. Do you think Reigns is winning? Do you think Lesnar's winning? And down. I know we said Saturday, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. We are coming back. Everything on Saturday is going to be 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Everything WrestleMania 31. All your predictions. If you guys want to ask us, do you think Lesnar's winning? Do you think Reigns is winning? He wants mine. Uh, who's, who do you guys think are winning? Come to us on Saturday. Come to us on Saturday with your predictions. Write them down. Come to us. Submit them in rapid fire. We'll read them top to bottom. Get all your predictions ready, and uh, and we will read them for you guys. So, Saturday, 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 uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. We're going to be here. Hopefully, we will see you guys. We're going to take rapid fire as well. So, any questions that dealt with WrestleMania 31 tonight that we didn't answer tonight because we're saving them for Saturday, save them and submit them again on Saturday. Matty Boom. Yes, sir. That is a show. All for right. Tuesday night. We're going to see these guys. <coughs> on We're going to see Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time for an hour <laughs> talking WrestleMania 31. Maybe longer than an this hour. This Sunday night, WZROnline.com. You want play by play? That's where you get it. Stay tuned to WZROnline.com all week. This guy's going to have everything you want to know about the show, leading up to the show, during the show, after the show. He'll have you covered. WZROnline.com. MMA? MMAnews.com. <laughs> there you go. All right, uh, we're out of here. We will see you guys this Saturday, four o'clock. Oh, I should have the main theme. I will have it for Saturday. Yes. Saturday, four o'clock Eastern time. Everything WrestleMania, all the latest news, access festivities, uh, tons of reports, live events, Evolve, Dragon Gate, uh, Ring of Honor's running shows this weekend. We're going to have coverage of all of it on Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. So I'm going to plug it on Facebook. I'm going to plug it on the main websites. Until then, 
We're out of here. We'll see you guys Saturday, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Or, or Jacob. That's him. Matt Boone. That's me. And Ryan Clark. That's him. Say it. See you this Saturday. It's 4 o'clock Eastern Time for our annual WrestleMania 31 show. No, we don't have an annual WrestleMania 31 show. We got a WrestleMania annual show. No. <laughs> you don't want to say goodbye? Just, no. Say you can't see me. Goodbye. You don't want to? If we do it, we do it. How about like this? We all do it. Do it with us. No. no? Okay. We got a grump. You tired, buddy? We got a grump. We'll see you guys on Saturday. My boy. <laughs>